myself and says, are you really sure you really want to go live? And of course, now that I'm live and talking about this, this is absolutely wonderful. And look, Freddie's waiting. He's patiently baited breath. Oh, I can hi, smell Freddy. it from here in New York, Freddie. Oh, Freddie. How you doing? <laughs> smells like tentacles. <laughs> smells like tentacles. It's like seafood in here. Wow. Uh, Calamari. <laughs> uh, welcome to the Kodokai Robo Dojo. Uh, three horsemen build off this evening. Uh, with me as 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 usual are my my men of the horse. <laughs> At least one. <laughs> Take of that what you will. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, men of the horse. Men of the horse. <laughs> and, uh, it's been a long life so far. So uh, <sighs> I promise I'm actually going to work on Zaku ish stuff this evening. Flavored. Zaku flavored things this evening. I nice. promise. Cross my, cross my digits, all of them. <coughs> it's not easy to do at the same time. <laughs> uh, I spent a lot of days working on a lot of things. I assume you guys have as well. Uh, I, I know this because I talk to these guys every day. But uh, <laughs> uh, what's up, wow. stable mates? Hello. Men of my horses. <laughs> <laughs> I got the hair. You know, I got the <laughs> silly that's the point my uh my dudes i'm just i'm just here with my marker checking off some of my list nice. oh geez as it blows up my as my lighting on my uh my camera. Okay, right, yeah. jones and the temple of nubs Ooh, i like that i like that a lot Yo. hey what's up guy holy what's up? shit hey what's Ooh, look at that guy blue Nobody wants that. Okay, we're gonna wait. All right. Much better. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I don't think it's gonna be fit, man. He's trying. <laughs> Fucking trying. <laughs> hey, Zach. How's it going, man? <laughs> oh, he did it. <laughs> nice. What's why, why is it? Why is Nubs like. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, Temple, of nubs. Temple of Nubs. <laughs> Temple of Nubs. Temple of Nubs. What's going on, Zach, man? How is everybody tonight? How is Temple of Nubs. I like it. It's like a cup of soup. It's a Hope Temple of Nubs. Hope you guys are having a fantastic Tuesday. Come I on. need a whip. <laughs> Learn how to drive first. <laughs> I need a whip yeah. and, a, and a pistol. Cool hat. I got a cool hat already. Why do no have to be snakes? <laughs> Google just Googled pistol for me. <laughs> They're wow. listening. They're always listening. They're always listening. Always. All the time. <clears throat> so what, are you, what are you guys working on? I am uh, finishing up this tall geese real quick. Oh, yeah? This, yeah. The Master Grade tall geese is really nice, man. Like, really nice. I have. I have one somewhere um, that I was gonna use a conversion on, but I, I'm not so sure I want to do that now. Yeah, I'm, I definitely need another one because this one's getting parted out. But it's good. It's real good. Not gonna lie. I uh, I want to get another one and just make a Leo. Yeah, there's a there is actually a conversion for that to turn into. Oh, Leo. where? I should to switch it back. Thanks. Get yeah. out of here! I did not know mm -hmm. that. That's yeah. pretty dope. Um, I, I think I think it's by groceries. I'm pretty sure it's by groceries. There's a company named Groceries. Yeah, <laughs> they, they're the ones that are doing the uh, the one one hundred Leo, uh, one one hundred Leo space type weapon pack, mm -hmm. and I want to say the what is the other one? The other grunt suit in wing. Oh, uh, like the Aries? The Aries, yes, there you go. Mm, that's fucking dope. I it's a conversion a... to make someone Aries? Yes. Oh, I, like a... I can never make it past like 11 or, or 14, episode 11 or 14. <laughs> at, that point, <laughs> at that point, it all just starts to sound like the teachers on Charlie Brown, where everyone, every <laughs> time <laughs> everyone talks, it's always... <laughs> and it's just like... and I'm, I, I don't know. I, I'm not... I am rare, apparently. Because I'm very <laughs> like... 
but I just can't. I just can't do it. Now there is a uh, there is another uh, conversion kit that just recently became available. If you guys want, if you guys own a one one forty four scale uh, Leo, um, there is a there is a conversion kit out there to convert it into the um, Virgo. Mm. The thing with the massive shoulders kind of looks like the Titus. Yeah. Um, yeah. If you guys want that, that's, that's pretty cool. That recently just came out. I mean, it's not my flavor, but. It's it, might be, it might be somebody else's, you know. Oh, I wouldn't mind one. Sounds cool. It, it does sound cool. Some switch. Just switch. one beat. <laughs> no, that's the thing. I don't like Wing, but I will say that that song just <laughs> <can't> <laughs> is one of the better songs. Intro mm-hmm. wise. I'm not gonna lie. I got pretty hyped. In the last episode, when he accepted that mission and then blew the asteroid, and then he said mission complete. Yeah, yeah, that was good. No, that, that was good. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, Freddie's yeah. asking where at Pabs. Uh, check GKM real quick, Freddie. They just released it. Um, I want to say two days ago. It's been on pre-order, but I'm pretty sure it's available, like still to pick up. Got a couple of other people up in the chat. Edwin, RSA, what's going on? Guten Morgan, good morning. How are you? What up, guys? Santos, how are you this fine evening? Welcome, welcome. <laughs> welcome, welcome. So I'm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, somebody got a spine back there. Spine. Sort of. <laughs> it does. You'll see once it's made. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You know what? You guys remember I'm that. Do the thing you're not supposed to do. I'm gonna punch all the parts out first. Yeah. And then that's I'm like, oh, that's like opening all the bags. It's like mm. Lego. Shoot from the hip. <laughs> it's like cutting all the parts off all the runners without. No way and, then, and then assembling the kit blindfold. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't. I, de- <laughs> I definitely want to look into. That Leo conversion for the fucking uh, tall geese. That sounds dope. Uh, yeah, man, it looks pretty cool. It has like LEDs. Oh, like the weapon, pack, the weapon pack has like, a a Gatling gun that's like motorized and stuff. Ooh, oh. that's real nice. That's pricey, but that's real nice. <laughs> it's actually not that expensive. It's like one no. twenty, one forty, something like that. No, that's not bad. No, it's it's not the worst for, for sure. Yes, you know. For the lights and the sound? Yeah. I can't believe this thing is spring loaded. So, you guys want gimmicks? We got you. Turn this into a rubber band gun. <laughs> I miss those. Yeah. Bang. Bang bang! I thought for a second, like before I answered Freddy, I thought he was asking me where I was. <laughs> where you at, man? He's like, where at Pabs? I was like, uh, I'm right here, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I said, you taste, you smell like tentacles. <laughs> where you at, Pabs? Whoa. Right here, though. <laughs> where you at, Pabs? <laughs> Shit. DM Pabs? Yeah. DM Pabs? What? Yeah, like DMX. Oh, yeah. Pabs, so, give it to you. What? Do you guys remember <laughs> in like the late 90s, early 2000s, MTV would do in like, they would do a, um, they did a series where you would watch people make their music videos. Uh, I think so. Um, uh, do you guys remember? Uh, the, uh, the 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 episode where they showed off DMX, or they it was an episode of DMX shooting X gonna give it to you like the music video. Shit, I don't remember that now. No oh, man, he got so mad at this one dude who thought that they were gonna have a gang fight. Get out of here. In the middle of the street, <laughs> he was so fucking mad. And they did not have the fight. They did not have the fight. No. <laughs> they in fact did not fight. <laughs> Uh, so, um, I don't know if anybody knows this about me, but I hate doing weapons. Oh, yeah. 
I hate it. I have I heard it. this. I hate. Um, I hate it so much, man. Everybody I hates weapons. I don't know why. Like, <sighs> I don't well, know. that's not a weapon. You're you're putting together a mini like space station. <laughs> it is ma- a massive boy. Yeah. It's a, it's a massive. Boy. I, don't, I don't like it. It makes me feel <laughs> like I'm doing more work to it than I have to. The problem with weapons is if you save them to the very end, they can be like. The most not rewarding, painful mm. thing in existence. I mean, I'm liking what I'm doing to it. I just don't. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. You just you're not feeling it. You love the suit, don't love the gun. Yeah, the suit's nice. You guys will see it, right? I mean, you guys have seen it. But the right, everybody else will see it very soon. And then I'm yeah. going to ask people to talk. <laughs> <laughs> Top that. Top it. Top it. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm sure that dude who <laughs> is saying to top it is flattering the hell out of the other guy. <laughs> I don't know, man. It's a it's a bit much. There's writing and then there's writing. I mean, it's hard to top anybody <laughs> when you're on your knees, you know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there's writing. You mean like Ghost Rider? Uh, yeah, except lower. <laughs> Do you guys remember watching the second like Ghost Rider? Movie? <laughs> Do you guys remember oh, yeah, that? I had to. You know, all dad jokes, no kids. <laughs> what was, happened, Pebs? Like sorry, uh, the second Ghost Rider movie? Do you guys remember watching that? Uh, I actually watched a little thing about yeah. uh, some of that happened earlier today. So Carl Smallwood was talking about that. It was a very interesting, that was a very interesting <laughs> movie. The way Nicholas Cage played that that character, very yeah, strange. he played him crazier than the first movie. Yes, yeah. I believe he was filming him. and stuff. Didn't he like do some wild shit? Yeah, man. Just... That's Nicholas Cage for you. That's Nicholas Cage, yeah, man. That's who we be. The one with the weird highway chase. Yes, that is the one. Like, very strange. Did I have Idris Elba? I'm trying to remember. Uh, in part two, no. I don't think so. Because it had all the element bad guys, right? Like, one dude was like a... Oh, yeah, I'm thinking the wrong movie. He was going after Mephisto, right? He was going and... after the devil, like actual Satan. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it was Mephisto, supposed to be. <laughs> um, right, and there was a, a dude who was wind. Or am I thinking Electra? I think the you're Electra thinking movie. Avatar The Lost Airbender. Mm! <laughs> oh, oh, ouch. There was a dude with, with tattoos, and tattoos would come alive. Yeah, Zuko. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I had to. I had to. There was a wind guy. Yeah, that's yeah, 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 Zuko. Oh, it's Aang. Yeah, Harry Aang. Potter. Wind, wind guardian Leviosa. Yeah. Leviosas. <laughs> All right. I forgot, I forgot. I gotta watch part two again. Right. <laughs> Smoke that movie away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Brian, how far have you gotten in your uh, Dark Souls 2 run so far? Oh, I had to stop because I was like, uh, from the soul summon range calculator, mm-hmm. I was like reaching the limit of uh, my compadres that have not started yet. <laughs> so. <clears throat> All I right. basically cleared the forest of fallen giants, and I have the soldier key, so everything's unlocked. I have all the torches lit pretty much everywhere. Um, I tried to do the skip, but I can't uh, drop my FPS to 30 to do the like the jump skip from the uh, the fragrant branch uh, mm. requirement for uh, things with Twix in the tutorial. Yeah. So unfortunately, I wasn't able to do that. But um, yeah, I pretty much have all the all the things done, and uh, I've got my mage. Built up to the point where he can wield a fire longsword uh, quite well. Um, oh yeah, so that'll probably be the weapon that I carry to the end of the game, most likely. Not bad. Uh, and everything else is going to go into brains. Brains. I did, that, I did that with uh, I did that with the, the Drake sword. Do you guys remember that? Oh yes, of yeah. Course. That's Star Souls one, but yeah, <laughs> you ran <laughs> it to the end. Right up to the end. Yeah. That wow. is dedication for the yeah, fucking for Drake weapon, man. <laughs> <laughs> it was not a good weapon by the end. I was like, why am I doing this again? <laughs> no, man. There's so many other weapons that you get. Mm-hmm. 
thought it was always thought it was funny that in that game, like at the very end, you're given all of the dopeness. It's like, ah, oh, here's you know, all these like multicolored uh, slabs and like uh, all these Black Knight weapons that you've never mm -hmm. had at all in the whole entire game. But oh, you're right on the way to the last boss. So uh, see if you like them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Next, next time around. Uh, I want to play part two again. What's up, Ungawa? How are you doing, man? Yeah, well, two's fun. Do you, have, do you have Scholar Julio, or do you just yeah. Have, uh, yeah. Chris, yeah. So, Guy, Guy Daigogi says uh, Christopher Lambert of Highlander and the poor man's Raiden was in the second Ghost Rider. Was he a priest in that movie? I'm trying to remember. But also, Christopher Lambert is a uh, badass. So, yeah, a national treasure. Well, he's a, he's a national French treasure. No, oh, I thought he was British. My bad. I don't think he was. Like, try to remember his accent in Mortal Kombat. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I definitely know. That was definitely not a British accent. <laughs> I thought he was just putting on, you know, taking a piss. <laughs> definitely, definitely not. Putting on, taking a piss. Yeah. That one before. Um, and then so you I was yeah. pretty sure that one resin piece was extra. Yeah, I figured, man, because I was looking at my, my parts list and I didn't I didn't see that piece anywhere. Oh, so, you got some extra there? Yeah, so, yeah, so um, Trouble Toys have this weird quality control thing where they'll add like an extra piece of something in, in their boxes full of okay. resin parts. Um, I got like an extra shoulder piece and it looks like the Ungawa got like something, but it, I'm not, I mean, it looks like it's for, it's for something else. Okay. <laughs> They just pulled it just out of the park bin and tossed it in. Pretty much. Right. Yo, can I have that piece? <laughs> can I have everybody's extra piece? I want to make one. <laughs> it, this literally, it, it literally has nothing. Yeah, it was a one-off. <laughs> <laughs> it could be something for your fin funnels, maybe. I don't. I honestly don't know because they don't touch the fin funnels. So, mm. that was man. I do not think. Small pieces out Okay, so it didn't matter that it was out of everything. I mean, it looks pretty straightforward. <laughs> <laughs> My years of bottle building has paid off. <laughs> you know, so, are you not, are you not gonna review that, man? Are you not gonna review it? <laughs> you should have did an unboxing. Yeah. <laughs> What's up, guys? Bro Builder here, and today I'm going to be looking at this fucking Tyrannosaurus and Wooden Tooth. <laughs> now, the moment, you, the moment you open it out of the box, it looks like it might be made out of wood. Oh, but it is. <laughs> <laughs> this fucking Tyrannosaurus. <laughs> oh, that's fucking cool. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just trying to do that. Yeah, I had to do the weird. Uh, I had to do the weird Jurassic Park noise, uh, as though uh, Nelson Muntz from The Simpsons was humming. Yeah. It's a special gift. It's his favorite movie. That was three. You're welcome. Uh, uh, Nadine Gawa says that T Rex looks like it needs lots of work, and he's getting uh, Kung Fury vibes. Yeah. yeah, that's nice. Actually, uh, the idea behind it was just to get. I buy legs and arms because you don't need it. it. Was just to kind of get an idea of what, uh, what form, uh, I can I can use. Like now it's, it's like a, I don't know, it almost looks like a chest burster from aliens. Yeah. But uh, yeah, just to have like a skeletal form. That is this cost me a dollar fifty. Uh, from the like the best the, dollar the, fifty the ever. Exactly. Trust. Um, so just so I can use that in relation to uh, the other kit, and then and then extrapolate ideas to make my scratch built unit accordingly. So nope. it makes sense. Yeah. I uh, just use this. Uh, <laughs> Four horse of the apocalypse with the uh, wooden dino. I kinda want one now. <laughs> <laughs> I got an airplane. I <laughs> maybe I'll use the airplane. No, I gave you a tank, then I give you a tank. Oh, it was the tank? Okay. Yeah, it was the tank. <laughs> you put the tank together. <clears throat> but since I made the legs longer, I can actually it can actually stride sit astride this this behemoth. <laughs> This wooden behemoth. 
Oh, man. Yo, tomorrow's the day, guys. What's happening tomorrow? My first 3D print. Ooh. Oh, I can't wait. Oh, you're you're kill a small dog. No, Edward, I did not kill a small dog. I <laughs> built, I very, very quickly built a small wooden dinosaur. <laughs> With, well, I had instructions, but. What are you printing? Uh, uh, I set up a Guyver bus to print. Small. Mm -hmm. um, if it prints well, I'm going to break it up and print it bigger. Hmm. But uh, I, set, I set up all the supports. Everything should be good. Now, is there any reason why you chose um, that bust? Um, I went to Thingiverse and they had it. I was like, oh, this is a good one. Um, it came in a little you pixelated. Go to, um, check out my mini factory. Yeah. You think they have another one? Yeah, they do. Oh, okay. All right, Pat. I see you. They don't because my camera is over here. <laughs> I see your hands. <laughs> Um, no, I'll check it out. Yo, okay. You guys want to see something weird? I don't know if it'll, this will come up on camera. So here's my ring, right? Here's my wedding ring. It's a beautiful wedding ring. Mm -hmm. It has like a weird kind of like a, a design, in, uh, like in. There yeah, I see. I see. Oh, I you put a UV light on it, and it turns green. Oh shit! Oh, wow. And I didn't notice this until earlier. I was I was drying like a, some some UV putty. Oh, shit. And it just, it was green. I was like, why is he green? <laughs> <laughs> did you pick out your wedding ring? I did pick out my wedding, yes. So you had no idea it was doing that? Zero idea. <laughs> <laughs> no clues. Oh, that's pretty cool. Uh, you catch your ass in the dark. <laughs> I, thought it, I, thought was, I thought it was interesting. I repackaged my wrap until I'm able to actually do something to it. What are you going to do to it? Build it. <laughs> No, I forgot. Um, Julio, so I can give you if if you want. I um I can send you the Ooh, the, the, raft. the G two box files. Yes, please. Um, the only thing that you have to, to to take note of is that one of them has like a smaller part of the leg that I forgot to remove. So you just okay. have to discard that. I mean, it's not a lot of it's not a lot of resin, so you just have to get rid. Whoop, there it goes. Okay, that's about it. Works for me. Yeah. Very cool. Thank you, Pat. Yeah, man. No. I can't wait. I cannot wait. I got everything ready. My bootleg ass box. <laughs> that's not bootleg. That's, just, that's custom. Yeah, it's super custom. <laughs> <laughs> it's not super custom. It's just custom. I uh, that box cost me a total of like twenty six dollars. Yeah, well, that's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> that is a lot, man. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> I see you bowling out here. <laughs> oh, bowling, bowling out, out here. Julio. Bowling out. I can't help it. <laughs> Damn it. Making us look bad. Sorry. I'm sorry, Pabs. It's okay. Sorry. I understand. <laughs> uh, and then Gala says some minerals react to UV. They do, but I thought this was all just one material. So I thought this was just titanium. And that was it. No, um, it's got something over the inlay to keep it. The, know, the, the yeah. Right. That might be, yeah. So maybe that's what's reacting. But it looks like it's the the thing inside that's reacting. Yeah, um, I guess this is probably just like a epoxy of some sort. Mm. Yeah, maybe. It's cool it. to set it, keep it set together. It was a happy, a happy little surprise. <laughs> what the fuck is this? <laughs> <laughs> it was a happy little surprise. I was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> babe, what the fuck is wrong with my ring? <laughs> Have you been trying to like poison me this whole time? She's like, no. <laughs> what makes you say that? Me. I, I see you. I've been watching you this whole time. Okay, I know this. Oh shit! That is fucking cool though. It's fun. It's a fun thing. <laughs> you should hit up the people who sell the to you. Like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> oh, what the fuck is this? Uh, so the Ingala says, um, cut out a portion for it to sit in and make stirrups for the feet. I'm like talking it. about this. Yes. And then uh, Rick Bland says, hey, y'all. We'll do it. Hey, y'all. Um, hey, y'all. The Ingala asks, is there a stone inlay? Uh, no, there was not. Um, and then he says, some minerals are TV light. And then Edward Leonard says, useless information bulldogs like gummy bears. <laughs> what, is, 
what are uses in Like us? Damn, dude. All right. Yeah, shit. Sure. <laughs> uh, Jay Santos says that's how some KGB assassinated some dudes with low radiation poisoning over a period of time. You see? You see? You see? <laughs> Yo, my uh, my wife does have a little bit of German in it. <laughs> you see, <laughs> KGB is Russian. That is Russian. That's right. You're right. I'm sorry. Listen, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> you listen here. <laughs> Shit, man. What other movie was Christopher Lambert in? Highlander. Yeah, I'm sorry. I know Highlander. That's a given, but he was in Mortal other Kombat. movies. Mortal Kombat. <laughs> you know who does remind? So he's not in this movie, but you know who reminds me of Christopher Lambert? Who? Um, do you remember the dude, the main kind of the main character, if you want to call him that, um, in Deep Blue Sea? Deep Blue Sea. Oh wait, wait, L O Cool J. No, not him. But the no, guy, I'm saying the with L O Cool J. Yes, with L O Cool J. Yeah. Shit, he I don't remember the characters. <laughs> he reminds me of that guy a little bit. Samuel Jackson was in that, no? He was in that, yes, but no, that's not what I'm talking about. <laughs> Chris <laughs> Lambert does not look like Samuel Jackson. What are you on? <laughs> Those are the only characters I remember, man. Hang on. <laughs> what are you on, man? <laughs> I got eaten by a fucking shark. <laughs> Thomas Jane? No, Thomas Jane doesn't look like Christopher Lambert. Nope, he doesn't. But he may have in that movie. But yeah, mm. Thomas Jane is, I believe, the uh, the main. He did look like that's that the movie. Punisher. Yes, that's yes, the Punisher. Oh, Christopher he Lambert. Also has a bunch of other really good movies like uh, The Mist and The uh, Mist. Uh, he's in Dreamcatcher. Have you guys ever seen Dreamcatcher? It's a really yeah. Uh, it's got a uh, Timothy Oliphant, isn't it? Uh, Oliphant. Is it Oliphant? No, it's not Timothy Oliphant. Is it? No, I can't tell. I'm trying to remember. It's been a minute. It's got Jason Lee in it. I tell you that much. Mm. Is that the? I'm not Chinese. I'm Bruce Lee. That movie was so bad. So so bad. Wasn't a good one. <laughs> it definitely wasn't a good one. Mate. No. Yep, Timothy Oliphant's in that. Yep, Timothy Oliphant, Jason Lee, Morgan Freeman, Damian Lewis, and Thomas Jane. I wish that they had made more Punishers with Thomas Jane. I feel like he's really good. Yeah, he was a good one. He's in. Uh... Oh shit! The Expanse. Than... Yeah. Better than uh. Dolph Lundgren. That's just, he's just <laughs> a product of the era, you know. <laughs> that movie was atrocious, I will say. Yeah, that was bad. There are only two movies Dolph Lundgren was any good in. Universal Soldier. Uh-huh. Rocky. Rocky. Mm-hmm. 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 Now, no, actually, he was, he was all right in um, The Expendables. Yeah, he was cool in The Expendables. He was all old he- and shit. Whenever, it. whenever Dolph Lundgren plays Dolph Lundgren, he's all right. <laughs> <laughs> the moment yeah. they're like, you gotta play this complex character with multiple layers, he's like, whoa, that's a bit out of my depth. Yeah. <laughs> that's a bit out of my depth. Isn't he like a Harvard graduate or some shit? He's very clever. He's a, I think he's a PhD. I'm not sure though. He's a PhD. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he's a PhD. I just have over here like Google it. Tabs over here like ah, he's a dummy. He's like, ah, <laughs> I didn't call him a dummy. I just said if he plays himself, <laughs> he's good. Potato, tomato. <laughs> you say tomato, I say potatoes. Potatoes. <laughs> I gotta Google it now. It's just bothering me. Uh, no, he went to. Oh wait. I don't need to know about the university. He has a degree in chemical engineering from the Royal Institute of Technology and a master's degree in chemical engineering. So he doesn't have a doctorate. No, no. no but he's, he's got a master's, he's a master's in, in engineering chemicals. Yep. He's going to burn your ass with some acid. 
<laughs> One of the top questions. Oh, he was in Johnny Mnemonic. I didn't know that. Is Dolph Lundgren a genius? Yeah, he was the he was the super enhanced dude who was like all about God. That makes sense. I haven't seen that movie since I was I more sober. That movie, dude. <laughs> I love Johnny Mnemonic. They put a dolphin in a man's brain. <laughs> they put a dolphin in a man's brain. Is Johnny the one, the one with wow. uh, Keanu Reeves? I don't, yep. how, do, how do you even follow that? <laughs> uh, no, so there was a uh, um, guy was talking about Dirty Laundry, which is a short that was actually funded by mostly Ron Perlman, who oh. co acted in it, and Thomas Jane. And it's like a 15 minute short film um, that you can see, or maybe 11, something like that. It's great. Uh, he fucks a bunch of people up that deserve it. It's really good. <laughs> <laughs> That's for fancy people who have cable. Cable. <laughs> I don't have any of that like fancy cable. Right? Cable. You got the internet. It's better. Yeah, YouTube. You yeah. have the internet because you're on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> you can watch it, Pat. You're just lazy. Cannot yeah. lie to me. I'm very, I'm very lazy. <laughs> about this <laughs> clearly <laughs> you just like putting shit in lines you <laughs> one of yeah, one of if not one <laughs> oh man Dolph motherfucking Lundgren imagine having a master's in chemical engineering and you wind up being the dude who killed uh, Apollo Creed <laughs> um. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Works. You know, he's so he was so fucking jacked that Sylvester Stallone let him punch him in the thing. Was that it, or was it the other way around? Was it that, Sly, that Sly Stallone was so jacked that Carl Weathers let him punch him and fucked Carl Weathers up? I can't remember which one was which. Uh, you got me there. Yeah. Yeah. One of those. One of those Rocky actors. Whether it was like. Sly got worked by Dolph. I think that was the case that Sly got worked by Dolph in Rocky oh, Four because he was like, "Yeah, you know what? Uh, hit me, hit me once," and he just hit him once, and that oh, was shit. it. Oh no, it was it was Dolph hit Carl Weathers because doesn't he kill uh, Carl Weathers' character in yeah. Rocky Four? Yeah, that's what it is. He hits Carl Weathers once <laughs> and put Carl Weathers in the hospital for like three Jeez. days. Jeez. He hit him. He hit him one time. <laughs> <laughs> That's a big man. Yep. Well, he was just like Mr. Robot in that. Oh, yeah. In, in Rocky? Yeah. Damn, Dolph Lundgren out here putting people in hospitals. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't have known that if it wasn't for Mr. Carl Smallwood. <laughs> big wangers. <laughs> Over at Faxian. If you guys don't know who that is, you should find out. Yeah, well, I'll Google. Yeah, speaking of celebrities and entertainment, just a quick rest in peace to uh, Grant Imahara. Yeah, oh, straight man, up, straight up. Fucking sad. Straight yeah. Out. yeah, rest in peace, Grant Imahara. What a great mind. Yeah. For real. One of the good ones. Yeah. Fucking I don't, I remember, you never, man, never know. I remember um, when Mythbusters was finally available, like, it was available on Netflix for a, a short time. Mm. And just watching through that and, and then watching the white rabbit experiment just you know that guy was very uh you can tell his passion and his stuff for making things and, yeah you know, uh right. john lee told me about it yesterday and i'm like i can't i can't place the face because i was definitely uh inebriated <laughs> but <laughs> once, once i saw his picture i was like holy shit battle bots yeah, yeah. Fuck, man it's a sad time yeah sad time. it really is i hate this year Yo, dude. This year fucking blows. This year has just been, yeah, man. It's one after you. It really has. It's When's it gonna yet. fucking end? It's not over yet. Unfortunately. Fucking crazy ass shit. Crazy ass shit, man. Yo, can we throw Florida away? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm game if you are. <laughs> Just throw the whole fucking part away. I America's saw way. <laughs> I saw a meme that had a condom over it. It's like by now we just need to do this. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> 
Fuck, man. People going crazy. People losing their goddamn mind. The rest of the world snuffing this shit out. We over here like, nah, we got this. We are number. And you keep this in circulation for another couple years. Everyone. Sure, you know, it's cool. Huh. We're uh, the world's Petri dish. Ugh. Ugh. Big bag of nope. But you guys need yeah. your haircuts and shit. I don't need shit, man. <laughs> you fucking thing, I'm good. Close this bitch down. Are you supposed to put it in until you hear well, a snap? Said yeah. If only we could throw Arizona away, too. That's the hard part. Is It's just landlocked. Yeah, that's in the middle. You need, like, the biggest excavator, one of those, like, big steam engines that just, like, <laughs> scoop that <laughs> big, big munch out of the ground there, just like, out in space. Probably change the climate. <laughs> <laughs> Just we saying. get another moon, another smaller moon called Look Arizona. That. Look at that fantastical thing. Right? Little gimmicks. That's some yeah. fucking Mikazuki August shit there, man. <laughs> yeah, I can totally see that. Oh, Manny's up in the shit. What's up, Manny? What up, Manny? How is it going? Immune booster has been discovered to help with the effects of the Rona. Oh, that's cool. I, I heard marijuana does that, too. Uh, that's great, but you know, it also helps if you fucking stay indoors. Yeah, and wear a mask. The mask really helps. Ah, there you go. Jacinto says that the story was that old Dolfo came uh, came to the city with a, with a lady that he loved, uh, got a job as a bouncer in Studio 54, and that's where he met old Sly. Oh. That's very cool. The more you know... <laughs> Keanu with the oh yeah, Keanu with the hard drive implanted in his brain. I watched this wonderful guy making fucking uh, playing around with Skyrim, right? And like showing how you can break Skyrim using the in-game mechanics. Oh jeez! And he made his character named Rianu Keeves. <laughs> it was good. It was really good. Rianu Keeves. Say. Rianu Keeves, dude. Right. And he did another <laughs> one where he was like he was showing how like the like you can do a necromancy spell that's broken in that where like oh, wow. so if you use the Atronox stone you can do like uh, necromancy like resurrect people once a day mm-hmm. and then uh, if you do that and then imbue it with like there's a special thing where you go and do like a dwarven deal and you like get to pick an artifact or you pick a, a crown and you can imbue it with one of the stones yeah. so you can imbue it with this special stone which gives you the ability to do the necromancy spell and you can just like take it off and put it back on and have unlimited uses essentially oh, shit. so like after you do enough like killing and resurrecting you can just like oh, you know, me, have an dead. Of, like you can but the thing is you can also break it to where you have like a higher level of things so you can get like level 40 or 50 like giants and mammoths oh, jesus and resurrect them and have them like an army of mammoths following oh. you around I want to see that in the cave. Pretty sweet. No, <laughs> oh, dude. Yeah, because all you do is you fast travel inside something, and they all come inside. Yeah. They can't. I don't think the mammoths can. Like wolves can't, and like other things like that. But all the people can, and skeletons can. Yeah. Uh, I'm having no mammoths come inside me. What the fuck? Hey, Pabs. Might have got a couple friends with us. Fucking apples. Fine apples. <laughs> Fine fucking apples. What the fuck is this? I have no amendments come inside of me. Get the fuck out of here. I ain't about that life. No. <laughs> Shit. Oh, it's funny, babes. That mammoth's away from me. All right? <laughs> I ain't, no. no. I'm not ready. No. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Uh, Charles Dodge says, um, University of Georgia updated the map that you can search by county what the percentage of catching COVID-19 during a social encounter was. Only one county in Arizona was less than 99%. Charles at chance like 96%. Jesus. Hmm. That's yep. Scary, Go it out. Here's, here's, Go here's, 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 the, here's the fucked up thing, right? New Zealand. Small ass, small ass mm-hmm. island. All right? Mm-hmm. Not a lot of people. True. However... All right, they locked everything down. Everybody stayed home. Everybody did what they were supposed to do. Everybody did their part. They mm-hmm. peaked at 89 cases, mm-hmm. and that's it. Shit, man. Yo. I thought Ooh. it was bad because New York is so populated, you know, and that shit, like, flew in mm. literally from all over the world, uh, and, and we were getting, like, 
for a while it was like 10k yeah you know, a day, right yeah. new and i was like man that's rough thank god that's going to be the worst of it because we're the most heavily populated area no nope. you're seeing nope. like 15k mm -hmm. it ain't even populated there i mean it is but it isn't as i mean what the it's not as densely populated what the fuck man yeah i don't know people dumb people, people. Mm -hmm. all over all right now mm -hmm. i'm looking up horse skeletons oh yeah what a fascinating search history <laughs> um brian you know the horses from darksiders games uh i have heard of them yes i believe from you what um, up? i think uh death's horse mm -hmm. is probably really similar to what you want i want to see the actual anatomical horse skeleton i mean it is a regular anatomical horse but um the like the style stylization of it you might enjoy right that's why i want to see the actual anatomical <laughs> horse before i apply my own style to it hey, okay thank you you're welcome He's telling you to shut the fuck up julio right yeah yeah i don't, <laughs> no, need, your, no. I don't need your bullshit ass horse julio I don't know. I get it. I get it. I've it. seen it. I've seen it. <laughs> oh, you have seen it. All right. Yes, of course. I, I figured that's that's the aesthetic you were going for. Mm, not Kinda? exactly. No. Oh, you can get a life-size mermaid skeleton for seventy-two seventy-nine. Wow, plus it. Yeah. I'll split it with you. <laughs> about that? I'll take the lower half. Hmm. Of the skeleton. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just a tail. <laughs> People want know. their beach parties. You right? The beach parties. <coughs> beach parties. Beach parties. Yeah. That's important yeah. to them. Yeah. Sure. Mm -hmm. I, I get it. I totally get it. You know, who cares about other people, right? Uh huh. Why is the togi so nice? I don't want to part him out. <laughs> so fucking Just nice. Get another. Just get another. Uh, tell you what, have? Julio, I will. Uh, I will send you mine, my, my spare one. You don't have to. I don't uh, get something to do with it. I got nothing to do with it. I'm not. I'm not picking up that resin kit. No. It's so nice, man. I know it's nice. It's so nice. I got a HG togi three um, kit, and I want to use on it. Use the points. Mm. <laughs> points. 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 I want the points. The RG told these one and three are really good. Yeah, I've heard so like with um with the RGs, right? So they started to improve around about the Mark II and they really got it down when it came to when it came time for the Torgies variants. Mm -hmm. Um and then ever since then, pretty much all RGs have been quite solid minus the Sinanju. My Sinanju is solid as hell. I have a I have enough Sinanju that I haven't built yet, but I've heard great things from Julio. Uh, Julio, Manny is saying he'll take the Togis if you don't want it. What do you mean? I'm I'm using this. <laughs> no, he's he's talking about my he's talking about my. Togis. Oh, he'll take the pet the Togis. Um, yeah. If you need it, Manny, go ahead. Right, yeah, just uh, send me your uh, info. Um, I I don't remember if there was anything wrong with it. Um. But I'll, I'll, I'll see if I can find it. It's his. Okay. Such a nice kit, man. MG Togi is so nice. It's so nice. It's so nice. So the, the thing about the RG Togis is that it has uh, this weird connector in the middle here. Where this ball joint is, is just like a loop. And there's a slot that goes through it. And that loop can break hella quick. You gotta mm. be super careful with it. Yeah, so um the Angola says I heard the Sinanju you should buy a third party metal part for the torso or waste to fix the stability issues. Oh no, that's but, for the master. Yeah, the master grade Sinanju version KA has the exact same issue. But mm. the, the issue with the Sinanju is um This is what you want to buy. Yeah, the, the version KA is uh is that the torso actually just disintegrated. Um sure. which is why you replace it with that metal part. Um, and the RG Sanjo has a very similar issue, so it's almost identical. So, which sucks because it's the RG is gorgeous. Uh, and Manny says, uh, dude, I know Julio, I broke three of them. 
Jesus. I thought it was one of them. That's how we know about that issue. Because <laughs> you for one. Three, my guy? Shit. Shit. He's like playing with those. He's nice. <laughs> I love this concept. Uh, the Yavala says the RG doesn't have a metal pack for it also, but it wasn't KA probably why I was reading it out, yeah. Um, the RG one does, I believe. Um, you'll have to look for it, though. I don't remember where I saw it, but I know there there is one similar for it. Just for the Sananji? Yeah, for the Sananji mm -hmm. uh, RG. Um, because it, it barely carries its own top half. Um, mine is so solid, man. Uh, Grace Nanto says, I heard they fixed it with the MG Sinanju Stein. I said, they fixed it with a Stein, period. Mm. Um, and then once they came out with the Sinanju OVA, like they just used the Stein parts and then fixed it all up and it, look, it looks great. And it works fine. So yeah. the, problem, the problem I'm facing is, so I have a conversion kit, one for the Sinanju and then one for another, one for the Sinanju to turn it into the, the Rosen Zulu. I'm trying to figure out which one to use for the Rosen Zulu. Oh. Do I want to? Do I want to use the OV on the Rosen Zulu, make that look nice and solid, or should I go for the version KA and just fix up the the, the torso and make that into the Rosen Zulu, and then make the the detail up for the Sinanju, the Sinanju? Um, <laughs> that sounds like a plan. The latter, right, the same one that I got, right? The side three, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, do also. It. Keep a keep an eye out on uh, Simpro's page. There, are, he's coming out with some pretty new parts very very soon. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I've said it before, but I'll say it again. I love this thing. Yeah, old school. Those, old school old those are the manual ones, right? The yeah. little lever in the back. I love those, man. I use the, I use those in school all the time, and like the yep. the mechanism of that thing, the big teeth. Oh, yeah, it's great. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. Look at that. It oh, is. Cool. It, I don't think it's ever been. I don't know. It's, I've obviously I've never had it sharpened. Um, I've only had it for ten years, but uh, it came from my boss's grandmother's classroom. Oh wow! When she retired from teaching, that she oh, had wow. it for her entire teaching career, and I got it. Hey. Uh, yeah. Uh, the Ingalus is probably OVA. You get the Vuka, the decals from the version car aren't useful for the Zulu. Well, I mean, the Zulu comes with its own decals. So, mm -hmm. um, we have to talk about that. Is that the same Rosen Zulu that uh, Kensuke put together? Kensuke? Yes, it is. Ooh. Yeah, so, that was one of his very first runs, kids. Um, he, he asked me so many questions. <laughs> I, remember, I remember waking up at like five or six a.m. and he thought he had asked me like eight questions throughout the night <laughs> <laughs> all right buddy okay i will answer the these for you i'm just gonna go take a duke <laughs> answer your questions <laughs> and answer all these questions oh, oh and speaking of dookie um i want to thank everybody for uh showing up on saturday <laughs> for dookie. A three hour dookie of critical builds no um no honestly though i want to thank everybody. anybody who's here who was there i know uh, manny Jay Santos, Steve Gawa, um, uh, John Lim. Um, thank you guys for, for showing up and, and interacting and, and, and actually joining and all that stuff. Um, it was a lot of fun. It was very it was a very quick three hours, at least for me. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, it was a, it was a good discussion and, and it was very difficult, but yeah, a lot of fun. Um, we will be announcing the next episode soon. Um, we just have to sort everybody's schedules out. Yeah. Man, yeah, that was new, super neat. Oh yeah. Fuck. It's a beautiful kit. I hate I hate what they did to the instruction manual, um, but the packaging is nice. I don't know what they did to the instruction manual. What uh, happened there? The instruction manual was just like a giant cod. Oh that's not the worst. Uh <clears throat> guy Daigogi says three hours of robo porn, Bender would be proud. <laughs> I mean, was it was, there, was some very, there was some excellent builds on Saturday. Yeah, excellent, excellent builds. It's very hard to to What's up, Chris? nitpick. <laughs> What's up, Chris? Oh, hi, hi, Chris. Uh, Callens. Yep. 
Open the shoulder, open the shoulder. Okay. Sounds like some, some country song I don't know about. <laughs> you know us Americans. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> <clears throat> You've been here long enough, man. That's the fucked up thing. <laughs> I still don't. <laughs> I still don't understand. Been here for so long. I don't know who the fuck you people are. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, <laughs> right, Pabs. I see you. Did you guys want to see the wound? Of course. Uh, if this video, if this live stream right now for for Brian's uh, uh, four husband bills gets ten likes, <laughs> I will show the wound war. <laughs> show the wound war. If it gets ten likes. Wow. <laughs> Incentive. Good. Incentive. Good no, I'm just kidding. I'm gonna show you guys. Good luck. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna do a quick like review. I'm gonna do a quick review of it here if you guys want to see it. If I can drag it over here without. Mg large goose. Yes, it is. The tallest of the geese. The tallest of the geese. So here's the legs. You saw the legs spike. Hey. There's Look the legs. Games. Look at them games. Um, how do I do this? Let's see. You got like eight cameras over there. You set one up. Yeah, I have two. <laughs> eight is a bit of a exaggeration. I've seen like, I don't know, three, four views out of you. <laughs> there we go. Ah, oh, this is pretty solid, man. Hey, look at that. Wart. Look at that depth of field. Let's give that man the full screen. It's called the bouquet. Yeah. It's the bouquet. <laughs> it's the bouquet. <laughs> Let's turn it this way a little bit. I don't know. I kind of like the weird feet that aren't feet. Yeah. They are. They do come with like alternative feet over here. So like they they you know so they're supposed to essentially stand. stand. It. Yeah. But I kind of like it because I mean it's a it's essentially a spacesuit, right? So it's not supposed to technically stand. <clears throat> so. Yeah, go. right. I'm gonna try to fucking make the land land mate here. This ain't so no uh Shiro shit. That's a space rabbit. That's right. It's not a land rabbit, it's a space rabbit. So the Ingo says I really like the head, but not a fan of the overall design. I felt the same way. Then and then I, put this, then I put this thing together and it's mm -hmm. just so oh god, this thing is is it's really pretty. Like, it, it is, is really, really pretty. pretty. Yeah, aesthetically pleasing. Mm -hmm. Pretty sure that's Phil in the chat. What's up, Phil? What up, Phil? Oh, yeah, space bots, dude. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Like, if you make stuff in space, you can have it whatever you want. Look, look at the fucking Gundam Sentinels. <laughs> Just dude. fucking thrusters and guns. So, um, I don't know if you guys remember, but you guys, uh, somebody had mentioned, like, the bent V fin on this thing, the, the bent um, mm -hmm. bodice fin. Mm -hmm. So it's, instead of going, hmm, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and straighten that. I went ahead and bent both of them because I really like this swooping mm -hmm. look. So it looks like the goddess is essentially flapping its yeah. arms slash wings. So I went ahead and just, I lent into it. Right yeah, I really, like, I really like that you came up with the idea to use gold on it by yourself. Yeah. Oh dude. no 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 no. Oh, no. That was a good. <laughs> you must have thought it about. You had a dream. So he had a dream of golden wings. So the sample, the sample kit of this had had it had the V fin, the v, the goddess fin in gold, and I didn't like it because the, he uh, the person that did it used a very yellow or yeah. orangey gold. And I didn't I didn't like it, so I ha I just put it in yellow just because obviously most things on this thing are a yellow, um, like there's no there's no metallics on this thing. Yeah. Um, and then Huli said, you, you just have it in gold. And I was like, I don't know if I, if I like that. And then um, I went ahead and tested. Um, so this is Gaia Notes. Oops. This is Gaia Notes EX08 mm. gold. And this is like a, a very, very faint gold. It's like it's not, yeah, yeah, it's not, it's not too overbearing. And it doesn't look like it's, it's, it sticks out too much, but it does. Uh, and yeah, man. So yeah, that was all Julio. Actually, I'm all right. Thanks, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I can't take credit for that one, but yeah. Um, here it is, man. Like, um, really, you know, every, nice like fun. I used up the entirety uh, of the the photo etch sheet. Yeah. Um, 
Now I'm gonna say I use the entirety of the Photoshop edge sheet here, but there's like optional parts here that I can't use mm. because there's another part in in where those are. Um, but I used pretty much all of all of that I could use. I also used some mecha decals. Um, in some Yo, Manny, spots. I might be able to print one of those. In clear ice blue. Mm. I, I mm. actually did get some water washable clear blue resin to print stuff. Mm. But I don't know. Can can a uh, Elegoo handle something that small, like that detailed? <sighs> Technically, yeah. Um, you would have to. You would have to really get the 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 scaling right, though. Mm. Yeah, that's okay. gonna be that's gonna be the the biggest challenge. Um, and then the other, like the in terms of weaknesses of this thing, um, obviously it can't really stand on its own. Yeah. Um, Let you put those feet in, right? Yeah. Once you put these feet in, um, since they're not the, the pegs on this thing are very typical resin resin kit where it needs a lot of adjusting. I just I said fuck it and just use these feet. Yeah. Um, they this thing won't stand, so you need to either make your own stand. I mean, I, I'm using an action base here, but you know, it, it's kind of crap. Um, and what else is there? The micro cracks was a big issue, so th that's the main reason why, or one of the main reasons why this thing took so long, was just because I had to re like it. This took more surface prep than any resin kit I've ever worked with. Um, so it took a lot longer to keep to get the uh, the edging and all of the surfaces nice and smooth and and all that. So. Um, but otherwise, man, it was a lot of fun to build. So if you guys were thinking about picking this up, if you guys can still find this thing, because apparently it's, it's it's getting kind of more difficult to find. It, uh, is it really? Yeah, that's what I mean. Idea. I know um, Dream Studio K is still selling a couple. Um, USA Gunner Store might be getting a couple more in. Um, but I haven't really seen these in abundance. So if you guys are still thinking about picking this up, uh, pick it up. Just just know that it's going to take a, a lot of uh, surface sanding and, and um, yeah, re deepening some panel lines here and there. Um, like the panel lines on the fins on the butt right here um, were a pain in the butt to, to rescribe just because mm. it's very thin. You don't want to go through them, but also the, the panel lining was very shallow, so you needed to, to fix those. Same with this thing. So this thing was actually the broken piece that I fixed um, that had a tear. So the resin was soft enough that it didn't just crack. It, it that was an actual like a tear in the the resin. Um, so yeah, there you go, guys. Um, Good stuff, man. man. It really like gorgeous, gorgeous piece, man. Thank you, dude. Now top it. <laughs> I need a resin kit ASAP. <laughs> top it. Oops, I dropped the the weapon. So yeah, I'm so now I'm fi I'm, I'm fixing up the weapons and and trying to get this done. Um, this thing was also covered in micro cracks. Uh, which is not fun. Oh, to yeah, fix, that was but... that was wild. Yeah. So Young Gala says, "I've considered, but I have many kits uh, about the backlog recasts of the new oh, one one hundred Kasharia." I heard that's a dope one. A one one hundred Kasharia must be fucking huge, man. Uh, yeah, uh, Pablo. So <clears throat> yeah, the, we have the Merza, not the Neo Grade. Um, so Manny's saying, I still don't know about the micro cracks you say. So, um, I mean, the, the problem is I've painted everything here. So, the, essentially, when um, Stickler Studio removed these pieces from mo the molding process, they had left behind some resin in the molds. So, there's a thin layer of, of resin on the surface that cracked and peeled uh, mm. as, it, as it cured. Um, and it's all over this thing. It's a, it was all over the uh, the head. It was all over the chest, um, the the parts of these legs, uh, all over the weapons, um, all over the, the, the back thing. Didn't you uh, take a picture of it not too long ago? I, I, feel, I think I did. Yeah, I need. To, I'll send it. I'll send it over. I'll send it your way, Manny, and then you'll see what I'm talking about. But the moment you you hit this with a primer, you'll see it. It's like it's right there. Oh my and you're god, like, oh, Nightingale. Ugh. Ooh, that's big. Uh, what what is it? What I have the the non scale nightingale coming. Mm. Yeah, mm. you should pick up. You should have picked up if you if you were think if you're thinking about picking up a resin nightingale. You should have picked up the extreme squad one. Beautiful, beautiful kit. Shit. Is that the good one? Hmm? That's the good one. Yeah, that's a very good one. Um, I I I, I don't know. I've I've said it before, but extreme squad are the the bar for me in terms of like quality casting and resin um like the uh the extreme squad barbers of sleepers was that was a was a very poor choice of of 
the uh, first present kit for me just because it 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 was fantastic. Mm, uh, the only resin I have right now that I got to work on is the RG new. I got to work on. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah, that's somewhere in limbo in holding patterns. Oh, like yours, it. yeah, dude. Uh, mine is also currently in limbo, but it's slightly different. Oh, the SD guy gun on that thing looks so. Uh, here is the RG new right now at the moment. So everything's been reprimed and resurfaced, um, removing any any imperfections on the surface. Which this this had a number of, and it was mostly edging. Um, but mm. yeah, everything's all set, man. I'm ready for paint. I'm ready oh, to yeah. paint this thing whenever I stream a normal stream. Yeah, <laughs> Zach, Zach, don't even worry about it, man. It's all good. Yeah, I mean it's not I don't, it's not your full tech, man. The USB. Yeah, is, yeah. I got I got time on my side right now too, so it's it's tight. He has nine projects on his bench right now. It's true, I do, I do. <laughs> so, and that's why I haven't snapped up that RG new yet. <laughs> I got a couple things I got to do. Where's that Griffin? <laughs> He's in a box. I got to paint him. <laughs> I expect to shut up, Brian. It's all good. No, nah, I'll paint them eventually. I just got other things on the plate right now. Manny, the uh, the Jaegen and the stock, Jaeg the stock and the the Jaegen are coming um, next week. I want to say. So Dream Studio K already has theirs in stock. Um, a couple of places are going to get them in a couple of days. Um, the the most will be next week. Nice. Shipped or uh, in stock. Beautiful. A pre-order model, guys. Oh, the SD Jagans? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I got a, I got one coming, and I got the stock Jagan coming. In. I got, I got a both. They look so good, man. They look awesome. Yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready to try those out. I got both of them. <laughs> both of them. Yep. Yeah, I, I need to get another full resin kit. I just don't know what. Um, Ooh, what is pretty though, man. It's a, a good full resin kit. Yeah, like full resin. Uh, probably like maybe the Artisan Club. Um, Artisan Club full armor. There is a mock three full armor, I think. Ooh. Um, I'm trying to remember the names of them. Um, let's let's check something real quick. I mean, if you want a you want a full full resin kit, like full a, resin kit, yeah, like, like not, a more. not a conversion or anything. Yeah, like the full armor I did, something like that, uh, so I can work on them skills more. Uh, what's your uh, what's your dollar mark looking like there? Video? No idea. <laughs> if I see a kit and no. I like it. Maybe I'll get that. I would say, I would say, I mean, if you want like something that's already available, I know you, you've been looking into them, but what about, what about a five star stories resin kit? Yeah, man. I got the the Black Knight up in the closet, the plastic one. Thinking mm -hmm. about it, I actually got offered a, a decent price for a Mirage Terror, I think it is. I mean, recently, um, the, the org. Uh, the uh, the Skewju version uh, recently came out. Uh, the Knight of Gold recently came out. Oh, uh, um, the Knight of Gold. Knight of Gold. Is fucking yeah. Hey, <laughs> Brandon, that, that's that's completely integral. I actually ordered Skin Sunbird. I actually ordered a printer today because we don't have a printer in the house. So mm -hmm. I will have a, a stand where I can print shipping labels. Oh, <laughs> and, yeah. uh, what's up, Ronan? Yeah, where where the fuck what are you? you? <laughs> yeah, what the fuck are you? Uh, but uh, but uh, thank you for the thought. I do appreciate it. Uh, just a little bit of a, uh, like a holding pattern, and I'll get it shipped out. I believe by either the very very end of this week or the very beginning of next week. Back. Into also, the, the, uh, the um the Yen Zing came out too. What the hell is that? Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I don't know what that is, babes. Ooh. Uh, hold on. Uh, let's see if I can find a good photo of it. Okay. It's a gorgeous kit, though. Yeah. Hey, Jay, welcome to the stream. How you doing? I'm doing PQ today. Up, 
Just doing my thing, bebopping, working on a lot of projects. You're not rock steady, no? That's the way. That is the way. <laughs> I can't wait for that that Ninja Turtles book, man. Oh yeah, that is gonna be pretty hype. Right? Let's say. Let's say. Uh, I'm sending a photo of it in the back room. Okay. Huh. Yeah, what? Right. How do you properly store this thing on here, like? Download. <laughs> <laughs> Call him up. Call Tomio. Call him What's up, up Brandon. Uh, the Ingala says, I have the Jester Cannon from Moya. Um, I would agree. Com 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 I think it means compared to the SS Zafu. It's an easier build over there. Yeah. Um, let's see. Don't put says, I'm, I'm out on the. What the hell is the Autobahn? Autobahn. 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 Yeah. Autobahn. You're going to tell Hello, me what the Autobahn is there? Yeah, but I think he spelled it some weird way. I don't know. He lives his life, life a quarter mile at a time. No, no, he lives his life a quarter at a time. Holy shit. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta spend a little bit more money, Z. No, just 25 cents, right? Dude, that thing's gonna break on me so hard, Z. <laughs> um, um, Pabs. That yeah, it's beautiful, though. It's beautiful. It is beautiful. I've been alright, Brad. I'm chilling. Um, hey, hell yeah. Goddess of war. Oh, yeah, she's my thick lady. And all of it. You should uh, show him what you did to the shoulder. The, the fist is currently covering up. Yeah. <clears throat> so, I took out the horn. And I added a vent. Yeah. Added some metal details. Let me see, I gotta this focus, focus. <clears throat> oh, I took out a lot of focus tonight. There we go. Been going in, adding some details on the feet. Nice. Yo, Jay, are you hit passion that with the Nobel? Um, Ooh. the Nobel was actually Ooh. gonna be my counterpart to this build. Ooh. Oh, okay. You got war, and then you got something that kind of gotta stop war, so, uh. Love? Peace. Peace? <laughs> Pieces. <laughs> It's pieces right now, but yes. This is my <laughs> heavenly aspect. Hell yeah. That I am uh, cleaning up. It's an older kit that I had sitting on the back of the shelf that I kind of wanted to rework on. Oh yeah. Because it was from a year and a half ago, and big more nub marks on this than a sprue. Mm. So yeah, that's uh, been my project. Uh, been working on the big shield, adding a little detail to the shield. Nice. Very nice. Um, um, we're going to be two different dials, but the dials are going to be facing each other. Okay. okay. like that. And I'm going to try and find something that I can work with the wings on to put wings on this. My problem is, it's like a petite kit, mm -hmm. but I don't know how small the wings, awesome. how, what kind of wings I'd have to use. Um, you can maybe get those uh, 144 option part wings from uh, Build Divers. Yeah. Could do. Yeah. But, uh, they're, they're wingy. They're very wingy. I mean, you, I could, also use, you could you also use the Wing Zero RG's wings. I mean. Truth. Truth. Other than that, I am working on the Cheddar Boy. A it's a cheetah. It reminds me of a cheetah. <laughs> yeah, it does. I can see that. Looks like it looks like it's made out of cheddar, yellow, and like it's gonna be called Cheddar Boy for now. <laughs> but it uh, works. Zach took on the building block for uh, this week. So, uh, Julio Stemsky says, "Has there been an update on when Chim Child, uh, Ch Child of Mecca Tim was <coughs> live streaming again?" Sorry, if this has already been discussed. Uh, I'm sorry, we're not good enough for you, Julius. But yeah, um, sorry, bro. Yeah, he's just taking a little bit of a break right now. He's a breather. Yeah. That's all. Um, he'll be back eventually. Yeah, he'll, he'll be back. Um, and then uh, Manny says, question. Do we you, have a question. Do you, uh, do you add the photo etch before paint or after paint? It, it depends. I'm going to say this. It depends on um, what you're planning to do with the photo etch. So if you are doing color separation that's of a, of a different color, for example, you are doing a frame. Um, here's, a, here's a quick, actually, an, an example of it. 
Uh, if I can get it out. Yeah, I can. Cool. So, like, here is a piece where it's a different color from the piece that you're doing. It's easier to uh, paint the photo wedge before you attach it so that you have this easier color separation because otherwise you'd have to mask all the stuff in between and paint it and all that stuff. And that's no fun for anybody. But if you are having it the same color as everything, it's okay to attach it. Yeah, cause I can show you on my M1A1 tank because these metal parts are spare metal bits for my M1A1 tank. Mm. Uh, let's see. But like, yeah, they're little like metal bits added on throughout this little thing. But especially the grates, you can, you can. Uh, depending on what kit you're doing for my tanks, I paint the metal etchings with the uh, the tank just so I get that camouflage. In. Yeah. So, like I said, if you if you do if you do if you're color matching with what you're sticking yeah. it to, yeah. But for this, I'm not gonna. It's just getting painted with the whole thing. Just make sure you uh, you hit it with the metal primer first before you paint yeah. it. I mean, I didn't do it with these ones, but they still came out uh, pretty snazzy. Snazzy. Breaking a Pab's Law. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? Pab's Law. <laughs> Pablov? What? Pablov. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, Chris, uh, Chris says, Hey, y'all, Pab says he'd show us something if the stream got to 10 likes. That's right. Hey, look, I'm pointing at it right now. Sure, you're sure. It's the moon board. That's it. <laughs> I want to see more. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, yeah, no, no. Um, and then Chris says to smash it. No, uh, smash <laughs> the moon board. Uh, the Ungava says also the the that extreme squad nightingale seems to have a very low production number and can it be found anywhere? Um, right now, your best bet would be Taobao. Um, extreme squad made a very limited number of it just because it costs so much to make just due to the size. Um, so yeah, Taobao is your best bet for that. One. You know what, Pabs? Yeah. I'm sorry, Manny. I, I think I'll, I might take that. <laughs> Talkies off <of> you, because <laughs> I'm parting this boy out. It, it looks good all together, but I do need to take these parts for something else. If you don't mind, Manny, I'll Rochambeau you for it. <laughs> if you would like. <laughs> Manny's like, fuck this guy. <laughs> <laughs> it's good, man. It's a good kid. I did not think it was going to be this fucking good. <laughs> Kyle told me it was going to be good. I was like, eh, hey, yeah, another robot. Nope. Somebody has to take okay. one, and they have to paint it like a Canadian goose. <laughs> I would not mind seeing that, honestly. It's already been done. Is it really? Yeah. I have not seen this. That looks like it. Yeah, but that's real nice. That's real, real nice. Wait a minute, I just remember I had wings. Huh. Oh, we back. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> Chris uh, Chris Callan says, it's a pretty kit, but that waist or torso, something gets loose. At least it did for me. Then again, it was my first MG, so I probably screwed it up somehow. I, um, you know, a nub here or you cut too deep here and it'll be, you know, not, it doesn't fit quite right. <laughs> Uh, and then um, the Ungawa, oh, go ahead. Back heavy, uh, the Ungawa says the Mezzo night Nightingale is hyper stylized. I really like it. Yeah, it is. It is. Um, it's not like a big chunky boy. I mean, it is, but it's it's more manga uh, proportioned. Than anything. Uh, Zach says I posted that one. He did. He posted like the the geese. Not oh, sure. Yeah. Oh yeah, the RD tall geese is dope. I have that uh, on Man my wall. Manny says, uh, that's it. Sponsorship revoked. <laughs> Damn it, Manny. Fine, I'll just buy another one. Which, uh, this this show is brought to you in partnership with the fine folks over at uh, USA Gundam Store, fine purveyors of modeling food spa. Um, we also got some good friends in the audience. Mr. Zach Black is good friends with us, and he is uh, oh, a yeah. big big part of uh, Galactic Toys out there in Michigan. So give those guys a shout out and uh, check them out as well. Usa Gas and GT. <laughs> now, um, Manny, do you just need parts from it? Because I'm going to use parts from it. I'm not going to use the whole thing. Uh, and then Michael Dawson has a, 
Michael Dawson has another, uh, well, has a question. Um, would an air purifier be good enough for hand brushing instead of air brushing? A hand a air purifier? Oh, what exactly? So people, the people that use a, a, a spray booth is to catch the vapors that you are spraying into the air. Yeah. And, and blow it out the window. Water. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, when you're hand brushing, you don't. Yeah, you should yeah. um, If you're uh, using lacquers, you should definitely wear a mask. But if you're using acrylics, you should be all right. Uh, take it easy, Phil. Later, Phil. Uh, and then Ooh. Gawa says, got a parcel from Galactic Toys today myself. What hey. you get on Gawa? Hi. What you got, B? He can't, he can't show me. <laughs> he can't show me. He has to, he has to get at least <laughs> 10 likes. He's doing right now. <laughs> he has to get Actually, at least 10 likes. <laughs> I picked these up from Galactic Toys because I love me some sand and sponges. Oh, I haven't used them yet. The Ingrawa says, right if you're hand brushing lacquers, the fumes are still a poop. It is. Yeah. Um, what I would recommend is not not necessarily an air purifier. Just have a just make sure the air is circulating in the room that you are painting in. Um, you yeah, know, a, nice, a fan, a fan, um, kind of uh, against your 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 face. Uh, just to make sure the vapors don't go up your nose. Yeah. <laughs> yeah essentially, then that's why I need hand painting. You're not really worried about vapors in the air. So, um, yeah. Um, so I saw these recently on some, I don't know, some review, I think it was, <laughs> the Kame, Kameyasu got hand sanding sponges, um, and I, I recently got some in, five um, millimeter. If you guys have no idea what, you, what what Julio is talking about, I recently did a review of these God hand sanding sponges over uh, on Gunplan Network's YouTube channel. Um so if you guys want to check that out, I also recently did an unboxing of the HG Age One Normal. Uh, so if you guys want to check that out, you know, this is a, a brand new five millimeter, a little little thicker than my threes because my threes are beat up. Oh, those are those are great. The five millimeters yeah. are the most versatile, just because they exactly. still they still have like a, a certain amount of of uh, rigidity to it, but they yeah. they still they can still take like the the shape of the piece easily. Yeah. And that that's exactly why I got them. Some I heard a review of some. <laughs> the the ten millimeters look dope too, man. The ten, oh, I actually have I have one right here. Like the ten millimeter, these ten millimeter ones are great. Um, they obviously they, they don't really replace like a sanding stick just because they still are quite soft, but they do hold um a uh, a nice level um. Yeah, you get some foot foot feedback. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yo, Manny, these are yours. I got two packs. This one's yours. I got you, Jimmy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, uh, Ty Furious says, uh, is it me or do the 600 grit Madworks sponges not last long? Any high grit ones tend to take. Um, the Madworks? Just all, pretty much all sanding sponges in general. Um, any high grit ones, high grit ones from 600 all the way up to 10,000 um, will take particulates a lot quicker. Mm. Um, what I do, what I would recommend is. Um, I don't remember what they're called. I think they're called blenders um, for makeup. Oh, um, like the little sponges? Yeah, take those yeah, yeah. and just rub it along the, the, the sanding surface, and that'll take some of those particulates off, and that'll make them last a little bit longer. Yeah, yeah. Clean the, this is yeah. Uh, 120 to 800. I had to clean them up. <laughs> yeah, so they, they smooth out a lot faster because the grit, like the, the, the fineness of those grits are so, uh, so small, and mm -hmm. once you start sanding, they'll start to kind of smooth out. Um, so yeah, just you know, just clean them regularly, and you'll make them last just a little bit longer. Yeah, I've, I've had these for about a year now. This one pack of the God Hand ones, three mils. Three mils are nice, definitely when you're hitting curved surfaces. As you can see, I've used the 120, <laughs> and the 240 a lot. <laughs> Why are you using 120 and 240? Just to remove material, like when you're modding. Oh yes, yes, absolutely. I was gonna say I was like, don't yeah, yeah I wouldn't yeah, yeah. start with one twenty and two forty. No, if, if I'm like surfaces. regular sanding, I'll start with the four and then go to the eight. Yeah. Four no, well four, six, eight, yeah. one thousand, two thousand is my usual yeah. thing. If if I don't have two thousand, it's four, six, eight, and then um one thousand and fifteen hundred. I'm actually uh I'm gonna print out a little box for my sanding stick so I could just throw them in there. Yeah, that'd be cool. Nice and organized. I have mine in an envelope. <laughs> <laughs> I have all these like uh, 
all my like little like pots of stuff, you know. Yeah, I, I think can I'm... just go next to it and then throw them in there. You know, I, think I... I think I'm joking. Look. <laughs> but you got a lot. I mean, I got a lot, but you got a lot. <laughs> I got a. I just need some. I just need to organize some stuff. You think my so? old ones, <laughs> my my new Madworks ones, and then the Kamiyasu ones I just got. Just was six dollars, Pabs. What? It's good. Yeah, it's not bad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Talking to me like I'm the one who set the price. Like, no. <laughs> So yeah, if I get a little box to throw these into, it'd be really cool. Make a little something, you know, yeah, in Blender. Nice. Yeah, nice and simple. Right. Just, uh, do do a quick boolean. Bat, bat. <laughs> um, I'm gonna try to put my logo on it. See if I can uh, extrude it out the side. Uh, the problem with your logo is it's it's not. It's a it's a J. Um, well, it's a, a bunch of images. Yeah, it is. Right? Oh no, it's um, one image and then just text underneath. That's yeah, an image so I actually took. <laughs> well, you can. I guess what you can technically do is just um, go to Illustrator, you know, draw around it. Yeah. Or make an outline of it and then turn Pull that out. into an SVG, and mm -hmm. then you can take that SVG into Blender. You can extrude it and then you can use the Boolean method and put it on anything you want. Okay. Boolean uh, the Ungawa says uh, he he is liking the infinity standing sponges a lot. I like them too. Um, they're really good for like large surfaces. Um, yeah. So you see, I use them. I use them quite a bit. I mean, look at the freaking. This is the six hundred. Like six hundred looks like this on the front, but then looks like this in the back. Um, yeah, this is my four hundred. <laughs> yeah, it's a uh, yeah. I use them, I've been using them for a long time, and they've they've worked wonderfully for me. And I'm really glad that they're more more readily available in the U.S. now. Yeah, oh yeah. Seven thousand guess work for that smooth. <laughs> really good for I clip ones. These. Yeah. But, I, I uh, honestly forgot I had all these. And, uh, like I mine only goes up to four thousand, but it, it polishes clear parts like no one's business. So. I got the I think I got the full spread. Six three seven five four. Yeah, so that's around the full spread. I think I came in that pack. Oh no, there's another one. Uh, it's a two thousand. Yeah, seven thousand real smooth, man. Real, real. Not bad. Hmm. And then I got this old ass when I first started <laughs> modeling and smoothing out nubs and shit. This old ass uh, but, nail filer. <laughs> yeah, me too. Yeah. I can't bring myself to throw it away, man. It's memories. Yeah, it's good memories. I should make a box for this. So the same as sticks. You got the sponges or the sticks? I got the sponges. Oh, uh, because these are sticks. They're kind of spongy, like they're malleable. Yeah, they're they're like they have they're they're rigid. Yeah, there's a rigidity to them. Super truth. All right, let's get cracking on this this war. I mean, I I have my I have my own. Sticks. Hey, 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 stop flexing on me. <laughs> you make me soon. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm going to make some. I actually have a a graffiti logo I've been working on for myself. There you go. Should be pretty dope. I'm pretty sure I can make Brian's too. Oh, hell yeah. The Bro Builder or the Kotokai ones? The Kotokai ones. Oh, yeah, totally. <laughs> That's it. Chris Chris Callen says I've got the exact one. Perhaps no one has this, bro. <laughs> no one has this, bro. Um, actually, the ones the ones I I was I've been using on a regular basis is the uh, the the high Q ones. Right here. These nice little acrylic ones. Um, Multi surface nail file. Hell yeah. Yeah, these have been really nice for me. Oh, he means your other your other one that you so don't want to throw away. Well, he's asking this question here about oil paints. Uh, uh, are Want to know, are, uh, are they worthwhile? Yeah. I thought only using some for a few projects, uh, but I'm not sure their durability. Now, here's the deal about oil paints. What do you paints. mean to, like, paint paint? Yeah, you 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 use oil paints for, uh, yeah, here we go. And guys, you use that stuff for, for rendering, uh, weathering. Uh, there you go. I use a lot of them. You're right. <laughs> um, but I don't use, <clears throat> I don't necessarily use a huge variety of them. I have, like, six or seven general ones that I use for my rusting, my weathering, my dirty stuff that are my basic like mm -hmm. covers the spread uh, for me. And then I have a bunch of uh, oil brushers from Ammo MIG. But um, but yeah, so um, 
yeah, those are mostly just used as a finishing product to add extra depth, uh, washes, panel lining, um, you know, just filtering, things like that. So you don't need to like try to use oil paint to paint your, your model. I don't know. That'd be wild. I don't know if anyone can get that to work. I'm not it would um, take forever to guys, try. If you guys watch uh, P0, he uses uh, oil paints on a regular basis to create um, essentially mm, like illustration style paintings of his some of his oh. kits. Um, they're not, he doesn't use them often, but the ones he does use look, look pretty good, um, but they do, they are very hard to, to control, um, yeah. especially on curved surfaces and stuff like that so um just be careful yeah, um yeah but if you want if you want like a, a an idea of how it's used uh yeah take check out p uh youtube.com forward slash p zero 15 so the it's p and then the let's the the word zero is uh, zero and then uh 2015 2015 really good really good uh and very inspirational builder he's mm -hmm. good I got a new weapon from a, a kid I parted out that I recently uh, snapped. This is the sword from Marcosius that you can use as a hammer, too. But I really like that. That blade is nice. That is very nice. nice. I like that it's got a sheath. Yeah. It's also like a hammer. Sheath hammer. No, it's only a sheath. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay, Peps. <laughs> <laughs> I might be able to get away with putting it like right here on him. Oh, maybe not. I thought I had a full set of wings. I only have half a set of wings. Is that the, uh, the high grade or freedom? Uh, RG. RG. RG freedom. Might be able to slide it up into there. I don't know. Uh, I think you should put it on the butt. Oh, like a butt blade? Like a butt, butt blade. blade. That's how I have the, the X. The action should, should be uh, side slung on the backpack. That's exactly what it is. Look, look. No, not like that way. The other way. Oh, that's how I have it. Like, like God of War style. <laughs> uh, I can maybe put it underneath. Have it there. This man is ready for at least 36 holes of a golf game. <laughs> He's definitely taking hole 18. Like, <laughs> <laughs> those first 18 are easy. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, Babs. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. It, it looks it looks awesome. Thank see. you, man. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, man. I'll get I'll get to building it someday. Hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> <All right. laughs> we'll get there somehow. <laughs> Yeah, just get rid of materials. I wonder oh. if I can just oh. make a set of wings. Can I, can I make a set of wings? Can I do that? Uh, do you have like a wing mold? No, oh, I was talking. Oh, sorry, I was talking to myself. Sorry. I was trying to put an angle these this wing set together, see if I could use it. I'm missing some of the bits, but I don't need all the bits. You can make it into a one winged angel. Like battle, like battle damage. A la, a la one uh, Sephiroth. Yeah, he talking. He talking Kingdom Hearts. I'm talking Final Fantasy Seven. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, no, I mean, um, I mean, yeah, it could be, it could be battle damage. I mean, um, you know, you can have like a representation of a wing, and then make it look like as if she lost a wing in a fight. You know. Truth. You know what kind of pops in my head? Y'all ever seen Constantine? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Where where Gabriel where Gabriel loses its wings. Mm-hmm. And they just kind of burn. Yeah, towards the end. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm looking at the spare bits. I still got the torso from this, so I don't know if I want to go with the original torso on the lady. It's a little beefier. And I can still connect the hips. 
I think um, I think you should look at the the overall silhouette because so the reason why her her torso is so short is because her legs are long. Mm -hmm. So if you if you then added that torso to those legs, do they still look decent? You know what I mean? I think it would. I think it actually even out on the proportions a little better. Um, Manny says, Yo, Hilo, I may have a resin kit coming in for you. Oh, what you got, Manny? You have the best sponsor. Mine's, mine is in the Autobahn somewhere, <laughs> living his mile 25 cents at a time. <laughs> um, Wait, you guys are sponsored? Maybe. God. I'm partnered. Family. One of these days, perhaps you're going to get that right. <laughs> on that day, we will celebrate. No, I was just thinking of that meme where, uh, where they pretend to go on the family vacation and they're all, he, the kid's like, you're getting paid to do this? <laughs> so I figure I need natural battle damage or at least to like round it out. So I'm just sanding the hell out of the whole soldier, soul, shoulder and whatever falls off, falls off. <laughs> and I'm gonna epoxy the rest of it. I was um, you know what I was oh, thinking? As as you can see what it is. Battle damage for my war wheel. I found a cool tank battle damage video on YouTube where it shows you how to do like bullet impacts from like using putty and stuff. Mm -hmm. Is it shift? Hmm. Is it night shift? Yeah. Yeah. Who's the best? Um, most of my damage is definitely coming from like melee. Mm. So, I'm gonna keep it to like, I don't know, maybe, maybe he's fighting mm. dudes with guns. Maybe you might be right. So, uh, Michael Dawson says, uh, speaking of wings, I bought a 148 scale F117 Nighthawk, but when I got it in the mail, one of the wings broke off. Good thing I only got it for decals. So, one of the we wings broke? Sounds like but a diorama in the making. Yeah, you could totally fix that. I'm sure it's not that that bad. Oh, you know what? Speaking of first, oh, well, we weren't speaking of first, but I do want to mention this real quick. Um, <laughs> um, I we were talking about this. I had uh, I had a I had a small for the first time today. A what? A s'more? Wow! Yeah. You were at a campfire? Uh, no. So um, I told my wife I had never had a like a real s'more in my entire life. Oh mm -hmm. man, she got the she, she went, yeah, she went to the she went to the grocery store and bought like marshmallows and grain crackers. And, this is why you get married. <laughs> She's like, oh, I thought you might want to try it, and but we don't we don't have like a, a like a fire pit or anything like that, so we just did it over the stove. And it was That's beautiful. Dope. Yeah. It was amazing. Well, they're delicious, dude. Fattening, but delicious as well. Yeah, it was very decadent. I was like, oh yeah. man, how many people, how many do people usually have this? It was, it was <laughs> like three or four. Very <laughs> sweet. Yeah. Yo, Manny, whichever one you don't want. <laughs> whichever one you don't want to build, bro. I'm with it. I am not picky. Uh, Typhurus says, Smalls, you're killing me. That's a Sandlot reference. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I had the VHS. <laughs> Yeah. Why does this not surprise me at all, Pebs? That I had a VHS because I don't the know. Sand of, of the Sandlot specifically. <laughs> For sand lots good not a bad thing. Not a bad yeah, thing. Sand lots good good. <laughs> I grew up on that shit, sort of. I mean, I was a bit old, but it's all good. You still enjoyed it? Of course. That's all that matters. Back I like, I like movie. movies. It was I, definitely I a like, fun movie. I like, I'm, I'm a people. I like movies. <laughs> Oh, you, know, you know what I watched today? Fucking Donnie Brasco. Nice. And uh, Mean Streets with De Niro in his 20s. <laughs> uh, Manny says, that's not how sponsorship works. You pick and I take the other. <laughs> um, I'll, I'll do the Stark. I don't mind. It's the Stark and the regular Jagan? Yes. Nice. Um, yeah, I mean, either or, man. I'm cool with I do not mind. <laughs> Uh, Jay Santo says, "Did they uh, wait? Uh, wait, Pabs, you you goose, don't play you goose? over there. Did they change it to cricket? Oh, 
no, dude. Like I have <laughs> the VHS, and it's an American movie about baseball. <laughs> Why would yeah. they change it to cricket? <laughs> you don't, dude. <laughs> it's called the Sand Plot. <laughs> They're playing it in 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 Wales or some shit. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny, dude. Is that the national sport over there? Cricket? Uh, Quidditch? No. Quidditch? The so is it rugby? Sport, the national sport over there is, uh, well, yeah, Soccer. rugby and uh, football. Uh, football. With mm -hmm. the pigskin? Uh, no. 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 <laughs> with the football, you kick with your foot, hence the name football. <laughs> That's the one where you... You can the beautiful game. The, the beautiful game. The beautiful game. Mm -hmm. I like when they go upside down and kick the ball. I, I really like that. Like super shots. The, the bicycle overhead. Kick. The bicycle yeah. Overhead. yeah. That shit is dope. Um, yeah. So it, it's, it is a very uh, it's a very enthralling game. I mean, the, the drama the drama involved in the in, in the games, man, just yeah, draws you in. I mean, the guys falling down and faking they got hurt. Uh, not that one. Not not that part so much. That sucks. <laughs> but everything else about it. To <laughs> me, I'm gonna make these runner clips. You gonna make what? Some runner clips. Oh wow! Yeah. yeah. Um, and you gonna print them? Yeah, I'm gonna print them. Yeah. Sweet. Nice. I'm gonna emboss like the you know, the the letters on the sides and. I mean that shouldn't that shouldn't take too much resin. I probably send you guys a couple if you guys want some. Yeah, I got a. I actually uh, I saw some resin. I put it in my fucking save list today for you to send to you. Oh, cool. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, how much resin did you go through with those? What was it? Three of them you printed? I printed two, uh, at seventy percent scale. One for Z, one for um, one for Brian, and yeah. it was five hundred grams of, of resin. Oh, it took a whole bottle. It took the whole bottle. Yeah. Oh shit. Like, that's not bad, man. Yeah. No, not at all. It's pretty good. Um, I mean, for the quality that that those came out at, they were they were pretty nice. Yeah. Yo. I really wanted to make sure that the the supports for those things didn't hinder the detail in any way, shape, or form. So, mm -hmm. yeah, I, thought, I think it came out pretty well. My shell instantly exploded in my hand. <laughs> Get, Get it? Out of here. Get like, out of here. I was literally just holding it like this, and I was like. Huh? <laughs> Did it really? Yeah. Holy shit! What it came off? It came off the the back part. Yeah, and and like uh, cracked in spots. Too. Oh so, shit! Wow. Damn, Would be fine so because I can absolutely handle that. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, I want to let you know that you need maybe want to like uh, refine the print on that to I reinforce to... the joint between the round and the uh, the shell below. I probably need mm. to to do something about the um the supports on the on the inside. Yeah, just mm. add a little. I mean, the supports are all—they're all strong and all chilling, but it's like definitely. Well, um, the, I don't know. The way the the supports connect to, to the actual piece, I think, is what's causing that issue. So it's mm. actually the resin is is warping on the inside because obviously it's uncured on the inside. Yeah. And yeah. when it's handled, I'm guessing it lifts. So I'm gonna have to look. I'm gonna have to look into that. Damn, it sucks. Um, is it? You think it's because it was hollowed out? Yeah. Hollowing definitely. Speed? Yeah. Yeah. Shit. Yeah, I mean, you could probably fix it by just making your wall thickness there thicker on the True. edge, secure it, and, it, and any of that the weirdness that goes on on the inside will not matter. Super true. Just like add a little bit there, thicken that up. That's what I mean. That's what I would do if I was doing like one of my uh, regular like pressure casts or like a pour roto cast or something. Um, in the program, it gives you an option when you're hollowing it out how thick you want the hollow to be. So right. Yeah. And, and, and how how. Uh, how thin did you have it, Pep? I added a uh, three millimeters thickness. Oh shit! It still snap. Damn. Yeah. It's just because the there's the detail where the shell comes down on the edge and it cuts back, mm -hmm. and then the edge of that bottom is round as well. And yeah. where those two points meet, it's just like a natural break point. So if you have the way to go in and like custom edit that, because you can't you can't do anything about it. You're making it plenty thick. It's just a design error in a way. Yeah. So. You might be able to figure something out. Yeah, yeah. I mean, as long as it's 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 fixable for you. Um, I don't fixed. know. 
I don't know what seed it is. I took it before I took photos for you guys to see. That's oh, how fast. <laughs> nice. On, hell yeah. It's me. What Z, what Z <laughs> did was he just removed the entire thing. I was like, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> 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 um, Pabs, I'm going to send you a picture of my supports for this bust. Yeah. Um, I figure you have an eye for it or a little bit of an eye for it right now. I'm starting to get used to it. Yeah. yeah. So I'll, I'll run it past you. <laughs> See, because I added my own like custom supports to it to places I think that would need it. Yeah. So um, I'll run it past you. Now, are you using the default settings or are you using something uh, else? I used, I, I set up the default. I, I watched that uh, the mini printer dude, 3D printer dude. Yeah, 3D print pro. Yeah. Um, and uh, I set up the, the, the custom settings for the auto and then I added my own um, support. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Let's take a look. Uh, Michael Dawson has another question uh, on okay. hand brushing. What type of brushes are best for Tamiya slash Mr. Color Paints? Oh, shit. Who knows the best? So if you have if you have the money, um, because I mean, they're not terribly expensive, but you, um, I would recommend using these guys right here. The, uh, the, the God Hand Camifude Brushwork Pro. <laughs> Um, they they come in a variety of shapes and sizes. Um, they are specifically designed for solvent paints, which is what Mr. Color technically is. The same with Tamiya because they're both um, chemical based acrylics. Um, so they're ba they're made for for much harsher solvents like lacquer and, and enamel. But you know they uh they they keep their shape really well. I mean I've been using these for uh quite some time now, and they still they're still keeping their shape. So I'm not having to use like the starch that they sent me, and it's still you know still pinpoint well uh, no no come on they're still um let's see come on there you go they're still nice and sharp um yeah i haven't seen any splaying whatsoever on these on these still bristles curling, no. no nice and straight man and i'm this is the this is the thing i you just you guys just saw me use a little earlier um let's see if i can find another one here's another one yeah so super super nice super nice yeah nice. um definitely uh something to look into i mean you know you guys can, you can still use like the cheap stuff but um just don't expect them to last very oh, look at that cute yeah yeah that's a so, nice one um and then uh, obviously if you know if you do get like the cheapest stuff um and you know you want to you want to try to get them as straight as possible um even after use like god hand also sell like the starch for these brushes separately uh, and you can use these to straighten your brushes again this is a sample, but it's not, you know, it's a sample, so. Um, but yeah, they do also sell these, so. It exists. It exists. It's hit, It's out in the ether. It's in the... Out in the wild. Mm-hmm. You don't need to be full screen. <laughs> no, I do not. Nope. Oh, shit. That's wild. What's There's wild? glass and Trader Joe's uh, seasoning. What? Glass in Trader Joe's seasoning. Everything but the bagel. I I feel Sounds like glass that shit, huh? Yeah. I, I feel like that is not a good idea. That is not a good idea. Definitely not a good idea. I feel like that's not a, a thing that should be happening. Yeah, I'm for up for against that, dude. Somebody yeah. getting sued. That's a hard <laughs> that's a hard, hard no. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you wanna go Trader Joe's fuck now? Nah. I'm good. No fun that one, dog. You must be out of your damn mind, Sean. <laughs> Did you? You guys all saw the the P Bandai stuff that's coming Monday? No, yes. I didn't. You have not? No, uh, because I, I keep my notes on the workbench all day. What's going on? <laughs> uh, text did post a couple of stories if you guys haven't seen. Yeah. Um, they got some some uh, some of the was it windswept tear or some shit like that. What is it called? <laughs> From the Gundam Wing manga, the Windham? No, no, Frozen Tears. What is Frozen it? Tears, yes. Yeah, yeah. Like they have those uh, those variations of the the Wing Boys coming out. Okay. Um, they got the one one hundred uh, perfect pack for the Ale Strike that's coming. I thought that wasn't a thing. Huh. So I might pick that up since I got the Ale Strike all all snapped up already. Okay. Um. They're Ooh, releasing. The pack I'm looking for is the V self, but all right, all right. <laughs> yeah, that'd be nice. Just play. <laughs> Never um, 
They're coming out with oh something there's something else I forgot it was oh the the testament you can pre-order that Monday the testament looks good man those um, heels is nice I'm good you're not getting it I have I have a testament that's not Bandai I don't care <laughs> yeah you, you know how they like close down all the like bootleggers and shit yeah did they just steal their designs yeah. I feel like they just stole their designs. I mean, the testament bodied. is uh, is nice. Um, three guesses why Z likes it. <laughs> uh, it's red. Uh, it's, it's, it's got heels. It's shaped slightly like an astray. <laughs> slightly. <laughs> Does it have swords by chance? It's got a claw. It's got twin pistols. Twin, twin pistols. pistols. Yeah. It looks alright. Oh, and the G else before is coming out. Oh. Yeah, that's one of those uh, ones from the stuff I don't ever watch. Yeah, the divers. <laughs> Couldn't do it. Couldn't do it. Uh, William Wilms says, I am grabbing the Testament, Armadillo, Sandrock, and Tall Geese 3 MG. Nice. nice. Um, I, was thinking, I was thinking about grabbing the the Shenlong because that's one of the, the wing boys I'm missing. Mm. Uh, I am going to be grabbing uh, nothing, nothing, and uh, n- nothing. <laughs> I'm a fabs, except that I do have eventually, uh, I know it is, is eventually coming, the P Bandai Hazen Filet. Ah, uh, the Hazen Filet. Yeah, Hazen that is, the day that yeah. comes out is, is yeah, is something. It's like already that. in uh, hand with the person that purchased mine. It's I've seen it, and mm-hmm. uh, it, it's just going to have to come to be very, very slowly. It's the HG, right? Yes. Yeah, I like that. Awesome. Oh, man. I'm, I'm oh, really, man. So cool. I am, yeah. I am really feeling a lot of the uh, the um, advances they are designs. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, great. Yeah. I mean, absolutely. like I said, I wasn't, I wasn't a fan of this guy, and then I built it, and I was like, yeah, I'm, I actually do really like this. Um, yeah, I think the Wound War did it to you. It's kind of weird and funky, but it's beautiful. It's, it's own beautiful. Right. Very yeah. well designed. Space bots. Space bots. <laughs> I, I do, I do like that idea. Like they, they test shit because it's here it's, for the robots that don't have legs. Yeah. I, uh, man, I'm, I'm torn. I do want that Ultron. But I don't want to spend money. <laughs> that makes sense. Yo, Julio, before you come over next time, you should finish the Griffin, and we can do a photo shoot. Ooh, that sounds good. I do have to do that. I do have to finish. That's that. me, like trying to light a fire under your. Ass. Yeah, I haven't. I haven't been too. Uh, maybe I'll take a day and paint it, but I haven't been too. Uh, his his has another way of, of lighting the fire under your ass. Like, why would I give you a wing bust if you're not going to finish projects? Come on, <laughs> come on, guy. <yeah. laughs> maybe Damn. you should start finishing projects. I don't think about it. Well, I, I finished one that I pumped in <laughs> real quick. Uh, <laughs> yeah, he cracked I, up that Barbatos, but yeah, I I can do I can do the Griffin. I just gotta paint it. It's nothing crazy. I, I want to get the base forms down on my Bandai Open and my OMC stuff. Then dude, you're paint. still in the Open too. Holy fucking balls, Julio! Yeah, dude. Of course. What are you? What are you like? One of my good friends? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Pretty much, we're all crazy. <laughs> Right? How many? How, how's that? Uh, Twin Towers, Pabby? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like nine things and commissions. <laughs> um, that's uh, that's half the reason I snapped up that tall geese for my Bandai Open. Ah. Other reasons because I, I like snapping stuff. <laughs> Good to hear. <laughs> and I got my OMC box just full of things ready to go. I just. Did a bunch of customization on all this stuff for my Bandai Open. Ooh, hell yeah. Bunch of little... I was kind of looking at them before on screen, but yeah. Bunch of little details inside these very boring thrusters that are all over all of the thrusters. <laughs> so, trying to gussy them up a little bit. And then the uh, the beam cannons, you probably won't be able to see that on this camera. I'm going to go to the other camera. You take two equal parts, you mix it together. A little bit of column A, a little bit of column B. Uh, so <laughs> these are the the this one. Okay. 
Yeah, yeah, boy. Look at that detailing. Ooh, if it'll focus. If it'll focus. 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 It's like there's too much cool in the background. Hang on, I got I got paper that will fucking do the thing right. Oh god, it really hates me. It's like your thumb is in the picture. <laughs> It's a nice nail you got there, bruh. <laughs> Thanks. I've been working on my manicure. I haven't, though. <laughs> Come on, focal range. Quit being a dick. All right, it's being a dick. So, anyway, what's going on? <laughs> I added a bunch of detail to these. There we go. Oh, yeah. Oh. Uh, it doesn't want to. I'm sorry, guys. Some days it loves me, some days it hates me. <laughs> Today it hates me. So, anyways, I did a bunch of detail on these, and I didn't want to show it. So, that's what, that's, that's the reality of the situation. <laughs> Maybe I can get to work on this side. Anyways, there's a. There, there you go. go. You hear, boy? It's just little styrene, little styrene bits. Um, I like that. Remove the seam on the uh, on the the back side and the top side of the. Uh, of this cannon, well, all four of them that come with them. If you're familiar with this, the OG, um, the OG XS. So these are the the they come off the boosters. They're being cannons, anyhow. They're they're pretty base. They have a gigantic ugly seam that runs down the side, um, and it's kind of a pain in the butt to do, but turned out good. Yeah, oh yeah. Because this is how you know. That's how you do. It's how we all do. It's how Everyone you do. Does. Everyone does. Take your, Yo, time. Uh, Take your time to do it. Take your time. Work slow and. Yo, uh, Chris, I definitely like that armadillo sand rock. I just wish they sold the armadillo pieces alone because I have a sand rock, a regular MG sand rock. And if they just sold the the billow, I pick it up. Definitely. But does it come with rubber key like normal armadillos do? Oh my god! <laughs> no, John Lee. Why? Does it come with leprosy? Oh yeah, totally. You hit it right on the money. I try. I try. <laughs> yeah, they got me with those wing boys, man. I think I might pick up that Ultron in the perfect pack. Call it a day. I don't know. I'm torn. I have a whole week to think about it, basically. So. Mm. Did she just release a Master Grade Leo? I can make my uh, Leo page in 1 100. Oh, man. That'd be nice. What are you talking about, Julio? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> they released. Uh, uh, <laughs> Shut up, Brian. Man. Oh man, I want Pabs and Julio <laughs> subbed into different strokes. Julio. <laughs> <laughs> and then he went, man. Pabs and Gary Coleman. Julio's <laughs> response is, man. <laughs> Man, you wasn't listening this whole time. You were looking on your phone. No, I was actually um, I was test fitting some parts on uh, this weapon. I was saying, this is why I don't take you nowhere. You don't listen to me. <laughs> <laughs> oh goodness. Um, no, if they just made a one one hundred Leo, mm -hmm. I could just make my Leo phase in one one hundred. That'd be dope. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, you could always just do that by yourself. You have a told these right there. Yeah, but he's getting parted out, man. I need them parts, Pabs. Oh, man, and that's the last one of those in existence. What? Oh, what? Togies? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, I just got to get another one. That's what I'm saying. I don't even remember where I, where I got this. I'm guessing right. from USA Gundams. It might have been, honestly. might have definitely been. I could. I, I should go see if they have one. 
I'm sure they do. I mean, yeah. It's all these super mass manufactured, yeah. Yeah, it's not a big deal to, to get one of those out. Yeah. It I get another. All right. All right. All right. You guys convinced me. And another. And another. <laughs> another <Khaled>. one. <laughs> DJ Kelly. Yo, his son is growing up fast. Like, super fast. Why are you, why are you stalking him? Are you stalking I'm not. Him? I'm not. They post that shit on Complex. Complex is stalking him. <laughs> well, obviously. <laughs> Who is Complex? Uh, they're a magazine. All right. I still don't know what that is. <laughs> the complex yeah. magazine. It it's used to complex. be like a hard one. Yeah. Thing is, Pevs, it's complex. <laughs> oh, I get it. <laughs> <laughs> That's my oh. new response to anything Pab says now. Man. Oh, <laughs> oh I thought you were gonna say it was oh, I get it. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. <laughs> oh, I get it. Oh, I get it. Okay. Okay. No, I got it. Okay, I, no, got, I got it. it. I, I got, got it. it. <laughs> my mama said, "To mind your damn no, it's too loud. It's too loud. Hmm. Yeah, I didn't think the tall geese would be such a dope fucking build, man. Like the build alone, the, the engineering on it is nice. I like it. Isn't it nice when you're pleasantly surprised? Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> Maybe it's not about the build. Maybe it's about the friends we made along the way. Aww. I made zero friends along the way. <laughs> well, I'm off to you, Ben Pal. If, if anything, I made fucking enemies. That I, like, yo, build same old, same old. All right, oh, man, things purple. <laughs> <laughs> you sound a little salty, bro. <laughs> and then I was just like, fine, I'll paint this thing blue. And he blue. blue Nanju. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. I really should get some baby oil. <laughs> uh, out of context statements with Julio. What the fuck are you talking about, Julio? <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm just going to leave it like that. I'm not even going to tell you. <laughs> Come to your own conclusions. Now, nah, I'm uh, molding a... Oh, you can't even see it there. Molding around epoxy. Definitely should use baby oil instead of water. Oh. Well, for what? Wait, just to, to mold it, yeah. Oh. I just... You know, glove up and go dirty. Mm, you dirty boy. I use those uh, carving tools, though. You got those clay tools, right? Yeah. Wax, yeah. wax carvers. That, that's actually the one I'm using now. One of them to, like, nice. sculpt it down. Yeah, I like this one. This one's more pointy. Here's the, uh, here's the weapons. I'm gonna put in close proximity to each piece. <laughs> <laughs> nice. It's nice, so big, so I need to I need to get another like the uh, other part of this action base, and then get like the the accessory arm just to hold it like in place. I guess. Shit. Yeah, it's heavy. I'm guessing. It's heavy. It's long. It's it's taller than the the wood wall. Use this one that looks like a uh, kind of looks like a crochet hook. Yeah. This is really good for smooshing things down, patting things down. Yeah, just, like sculpting shit out. Smush it. <laughs> this one's a good one because you get like the spoony end, and then you get like the pointy end. If yeah, you know, that's what I'm using. Yeah, spoony end spoony and the pointy end, end. Spoony end. Oh, you got the you got oh you got short spoony end. You got the yeah. Like, like, you got like this one. It's like the the samurai sword yeah. on the end. Yeah. Like, mm. yeah. I actually sharpen mine go. out a lot. <laughs> yeah. It works. Focus yeah. your butt. There you go. Like butt. These guys. Yeah, those are nice, babs. Those ones are tray chic. Yeah. Yeah, these are sharpened as well. Yeah. I went and sharpened these a little bit. Um, I also use a um, uh, a silicone knife or silicone knife, a silicone brush sometimes. Oh, yeah, to push stuff down. To push stuff down. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, yeah, we... Much like uh, much like uh, Mr. Brian over there. See? 
Yo, um, you guys hit the the chat earlier than I do. Uh, Z got that all that epoxy down and shit. It was good. Um, he didn't say anything he, about yes, that. He never followed up. I asked Who knows? Him. He never followed up. <laughs> Who knows what happened to it? <laughs> <laughs> Who knows what happened to Z in here? No, he's on the autobahn. He's out there. Uh, living his quarter one mile at a life. He's, he's 25 cents at a time. <laughs> I got a peseta. You, <laughs> you want to live some life? Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. The fact that Pabsy had just. I, oh. Uh, <laughs> Thank you, Pedro. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome, man. You're welcome, man. Reverend, you're dead. Oh, my God. Yeah, I got to build a fucking laser cannon for Buzz. Nice. Yeah. Well, if you come over, you can grab some shit for me. I got a bunch of extra guns. Truth. Super truth. I got a... <laughs> I downloaded the Pizza Planet Little Toys, the aliens, for some... Uh, Something to shoot at. <laughs> you saved our lives. We are eternally grateful. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're not going to be grateful no more. Da <laughs> <laughs> cloud. And da cloud. Oh, they mean well. Yeah, they do. They I do not. <laughs> this is going to be tight. Y'all want to get there. I just got to transfer this weird sort of number of ribs and skeletal design. What's going to be real fun is that I might I might melt plastic onto it. What? Uh, what are you doing? Says, um, oh, well, William Mom says, what? Oh, hold on. I am trying to read this chat. Um <laughs> <laughs> Guy that go, he says, remember grumpy old men. Well, I give you grumpy gum for our builders, pads, and chooch. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Chris, uh, Chris says, I want the freaking Aries. Um, I think uh, like I just spoke about the Aries recently. Right? Yeah, it was a, a resin conversion, right? Right. And then um, a Virgo. There's also a Virgo. A Virgo, a yeah. Uh, Jason also says, cannibalizing kits for pots can be painful sometimes, especially if you like the kit. Oh, oh yeah, dude. Just remember, it is not one of one, though. Yeah, you can get more. Yeah, I mean, I know that's like saying you're throwing your money away, but you're, you're putting time. Something... Unless you're trying to go for a master grade dom, because those things are oh, rare. God. I saw an HG dom online. I was like, should I get it? Nah, I'll wait for the MG. Uh, Jason also says I should start. Just bite the bullet and just start buying doubles. The guck. Oh, the girlfriend will have questions. <laughs> Actually, I bought two of the Barber Toast, the MG Barber Toast, because I'm doing some stuff to that. Ooh. Some things to that. A, I also have two of the Barber Toast. Ah, one is why am I not surprised? One is the commission. So I didn't technically buy one. I bought <laughs> someone to give it to me to make. Oh, well, there you go. Um, so I actually won a third that I gave to Manny. Oh, that's fucking... Not yeah. bad at all. Yeah. That's not how sponsorships work. <laughs> <laughs> Probably sponsored by Chris Babs. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he keeps asking me to tag that as a brand. Yeah, you're a brand, dude. I'm like, no, I don't want that. I want to tag no, as a brand. No. <laughs> I no, would go. No. So I could say that I was my first sponsor because a lot of the kids that I have built up in my backlog and kids that I've gotten were kids that I've won from winning competitions. So, oh yeah, sponsor myself. Any any of the kids I've won in competition, I've never actually built. <laughs> <laughs> I have built, built. I built a couple. I built the Ham Hama. I got that one from the unicorn competition with Zach. Um. Yeah, I think that's it. Yeah, I have a, I have an R7 8.3.0 that I haven't built. Um, I gave away, or either I gave away or I sold a Dragon Momoko 12 piece. 
Um, I have a double O Diver Sky that's lounging around here somewhere. I don't really know where it is. Right now. Uh, I like that that kit for parts, man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. A canopy. I would like to say that I am my own proud sponsor. Oh yeah. You definitely are, dude. I am I am proudly sponsored by one uh LA Pabs, aka my wife, but she lets me buy of the She got you. <sighs> Yeah, did she? Did like she said, enjoy? Uh, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. I was gonna say. I mean, if it wasn't for her, I mean, she, I wouldn't have bought an airbrush, or she wouldn't have bought an mm-hmm. airbrush. And oh yeah, this road. <clears throat> no, honestly, my uh, my mother-in-law would be my first sponsor. Nice. Because without her, I wouldn't have bought. I wouldn't have been able to get my airbrush. Nice. Compressor, stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. Every year, she gives me like a really like nice gift. Essentially, it's uh, been very helpful. Now, I don't okay. know if my wife regrets it. <laughs> I, I generally don't. Sometimes I'm like, do you regret it? I know, of course not. But then for the face, I'm like, mm, the, that face. Yeah, I, yeah, but, um, I was going to ask you, did she enjoy the end of The Last of Us? Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. No, I haven't gotten there yet. Okay, no, we're not talking about it then, though. Cool, cool. We're not talking about it here. This is not a spoiler cost. So. Yeah, no. I, I, I'm just asking if she enjoyed. She did not. Makes sense. <laughs> you got to be like a real masochist <laughs> to enjoy the shit that transpires in that game. I'll, I'll say I'll say this much about the the majority of that game. It's relatable. Mm-hmm. It seems yeah. real palpable. It's like it's very, it's very. You understand the motivations. You understand what's happening. Like yeah. It's, it's, it's not as clear cut as it seems to be. Truth. And I, I recently watched the spoiler cast of, of, like, after I finished the game, I, I watched a, a spoiler cast with uh, Troy Baker, um, Ashley Johnson, who is the voice of Ellie and Joel, and mm-hmm. Neil Druckmann, the actor. And I mean, those guys were in tears talking about you know, like, parts of that game because they they love these characters and they love oh, yeah. everything about it, and and they you know it it personified a lot of their demons as well. And um, shit, and yeah, it was a very deep conversation, and, and you could tell how much they absolutely loved all these these characters, and 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 they put a lot of thought and and um um you know kind of going back and forth arguing what should happen. Oh shit. Happen. That's dope. I didn't know that. Uh, Edward, uh, Edward Dennis says, I'm building a, a Ryefield Challenger 2, Tez, and I don't know why. Who's Tez? I don't know. I don't know. A, te- a tape was? A Ryefield Challenger 2. Is that a plane? It sounds like a, a spaceship, like a shuttle. Oh, okay. I don't know. I I haven't yet to build an airplane, so I I don't know, dude. I don't know anything about spaceships, just space robots. Yeah. Space bots. (coughs) Is it? Yeah, Challenger is a a rocket ship. I'm guessing a spaceship. Well, the Challenger was the shuttle that exploded. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I don't know about the Challenger too, though. Neither do I, Brandon. Uh, Brian, <laughs> Brandon. <laughs> Look, I dropped putty. I don't know where the hell it went. <laughs> I got distracted. <laughs> I'll take another photo of it right now. Oh, the Challenger? No, the uh, I'm gonna take a photo of it again. Look back. <laughs> Hank. Okay. It's oh, not it's a. a yeah, it's not a spaceship. My bad, Edward. So I'm still um, thinking about grabbing one of those uh, Toyota Supra GR2 
kits. Shit. Have you um, done a car before, Pam? No, I've never, I've never searched a car before. I think, the, the, again, the last one that I, I did was um, an old initial D kit that I picked up. Uh, mm. was like, or something. Uh, oh. And Edward, I what's kit? Uh, so Jay Sanso says, I think that's what they tried to make the player feel with the game. Post-apocalyptic fiction is filled with foreboding, unease, dread, and no happy ending for anyone. But the, the problem with that is it's it's really not about the post-apocalyptic scene of it. Like, it's not the setting. It's about the, the people um, and how um, they deal with it. The, the yeah. cycle of, of things are so easily broken but they choose not to and that's all i'm gonna say because everything else i'm gonna say afterwards is a spoiler so i'll get there <laughs> just, just wait on who you're gonna finish <laughs> uh yeah they, they try to make the player feel in general yeah anything anything that can make you feel any piece of art that can make you feel is good art Stop making me feel <laughs> maybe, I mean, it's, like, the game stressed me out because i mean there were very tense moments in that game you know when you're playing the game but i don't think that what well, that's what was the main like emotion that they were trying to invoke yo <coughs> um so edward that's a Really nice looking model, man. For the tank? Yeah. Is that the one that it's like that Polish uh like it's, test tank? No, it's a British main battle tank. Oh uh, okay. Yeah. RFM Ryfield Challenger 2 T T E S. Uh it is very nice. You know, can I can I say one one thing I'm really proud of of this window? What? These fucking scribes right here. Like they came off they came out so well. Like they they look like they're part of the kit. Like Oh the scribes like, you threw in? Yeah. Right there that you guys can barely see. Like right <laughs> on the right. legs? Yeah. Yeah. Like they came out really well and my mom actually should be really proud of those. Yeah. No, I mean, they're, they're not they're not straight. Well, I mean they are straight, but they're not they're not um They're cohesive. They're not, they're not I perfect. get you. Yeah, they're not perfect, but they 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 went they came they came out okay. I'm proud of them. Yeah, hell yeah. Just it was, <laughs> weird, it was just slabs of resin for the legs. Yeah, they were just uh they were bare, right? Yeah, I just, remember yeah. doing it. You come a long way. <laughs> From when you first cracked open the kit, you come a long way, bro. Man, I had two other people doing this with me, and then they were like, oh, "I don't like it anymore." Let's not do it anymore. <laughs> like one, so. Fuck this shit up! I'm proud of you, and it was awesome. <laughs> Thank you. Now topic. <laughs> now top. How do you tell people that? Top this. How do you? How do you? You're telling other people to top someone else's work, like. Um, They're not coming off like that. What's wrong with you? Uh, just, just no, please. That Julio is not talking about me right now. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm not. I'm not talking about that at all. <laughs> I'm actually making fun of somebody who somebody else who said that. I can't. That I can't believe it. It is. It was very um, brown nosy to say something. Yeah. Like that. Yeah. Very much so. Yeah, it wasn't even the, the person who built it. Like. Yeah. Said, yeah. This. I don't know. I cracked oh. my original idea of using the Sarah Moon kit. Oh, why? And bashing some of the pieces with this old Obsidian Fury Pacific Rim kit that I had when I was in parks cool. too. Oh, and yeah. some water orphan kits. Oh yeah. Very cool. You know, um, I always I always like the look of the the Freedom's back skirt as a front skirt. I can as see that. Front, well, like a singular front skirt. It looks pretty cool. Just get rid of the uh, just get rid of like the the call sign to the freedom on the middle, one. and I think that'd be pretty cool and look pretty cohesive on a lot of a lot of things. There we go. At long last. <laughs> My um, and love. And you, Make the USS Paz. We were supposed to build it together on stream, and you left us just like that. 
There we go. <laughs> oh uh, Manny, you were supposed to build it with me, yeah, but you guys stopped. <laughs> <laughs> so this is that tank. That wow. thing is wild. Oh, you know what? I think I've seen this in an episode of Top Gear. Did that put up a dragon? No, this is the Challenger. Challenger Challenger too. Yeah. I was uh, looking at that. Mm-mm. Battle thing. I love it. It's, it's, it's a good looking. Yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty as hell. Super yeah. detailed, man. Gorgeous. I don't know. If, I think this is the Ryfield, so I don't know if it's exactly the same one that Evan's talking about, but. um. Four sprues for tracks, just tracks, like big sprues. Oof. That's how they're done these days. <laughs> yeah, cracked on sprues were how the M1A1 came. I had to glue the, all the tracks together. Oof. Like what took me the longest part out of it, because they're like really small when you gotta glue them and you gotta use a lure to keep them up and then you gotta freaking heat them up. And... They like, yours, uh, they maintain their mobility, right? Like they, uh, after you glue them together. Eh. Eh. Where are <laughs> They're supposed to, aren't they? <laughs> We're supposed to be done and what we really get done. <laughs> <laughs> right on, right on. I'm not your boss. Imagine having Brian You're not as my boss. dad. <laughs> could you could be my boss. I mean, I'm just a lowly wizard. Big boss. <laughs> Big boss. Traveling these traveling these woods. Milk gear. <laughs> With a top of tweet. What what was he smoking? <laughs> what was Gandalf smoking in, in the Shire? Oh, long bottom leaf? Yeah, yeah. long bottom leaf. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Shit. You guys are making fun of that. Hard. But there are there are Americans out there like smoking swamp thing. <laughs> <laughs> like, get some something synthetic. Like, calm down, bro. Oh my goodness. I want to smoke some swamp thing. <laughs> no, you don't. I was questioning reality for a little while. <laughs> what is this world? Yeah, I would never. Mm. I wouldn't fuck with the synthetics, man. Mm -mm. That's weird. On top of many other things, yeah. Yeah, not for me, my guy. Oh shit! Oh, uh, the tracks are movable. That's pretty cool. I'm guessing they lock into each other. I'm hoping they do anyway. So I'm kind of, I'm kind of digging this box. I don't have a yarn sword yet, which is unfortunate. You don't have a what? Any arms to this uh, angel that I'm working on? Oh, okay. I'm sure you can find some. We need arms. Because my obsidian fury lost some parts to his bottom arms. That's why I scrapped them. Mm. So we ain't got no arms. Ooh, I like that. I rounded out the shoulder. Like I sanded it all down and I parted it in. Oh, yeah, with some epoxy. Need some more sanding when you dry. All right, big boy. Yeah, yeah. No, oh, they're, not, they're not removable. They are movable. But you have to glue them shits together. Um, yeah. Okay. It's often like a careful pin and like a careful gluing situation. As I said. It's B. All right, with this excess epoxy, I can use it on Sailor Toothy. Hey. Why don't you show the good audience throw toothy Julio? Oh hold on, let me let me throw on this epoxy. Monster touch? I gotta wet it up, hold on. Uh let me switch. Let me switch. <laughs> That's uh Toothy. It's no. Sailor Toothy. It's so blown out right now. Look, hold up, hold up. Bam. Hold on, hold on. Turn that off. 
There you go. Look at that. Without the, the epoxy I just added, it was just Sailor Toothy. <laughs> no, ain't that the dangest little thing you ever saw? It's so cute. It's so fucking cute. I got to put the epoxy around. And then the back of it, I'm going to do like all fur coming off of it. I'm going to leave the butt open, though. <laughs> nice, like a baboon. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a baboon. <laughs> All, all of my folks come with little butts, in case anyone is wondering. <laughs> yep. And we were not wondering. <laughs> we were presently surprised. Oh, that's a butt there. I can attest to that. It's <laughs> a little posterior. Yeah. Got a butt in there. A little load of butts. And a side ponytail? I mean, come on. <laughs> totally 80s, man. Next thing I know is going to be trying to sell me a friendship bracelet. <laughs> you never take it off. <laughs> I'm going to get friendship bracelets for us guys. I got you. I mean, I can make some. Pabs is going to be purple. On Branson. <laughs> On Branson. <laughs> Mine's just gonna be green. Alright, <laughs> uh, all right, well here we are. It's eleven thirty. Oh shit. I went quick. It's been a fun it's been a fun time and that's what happens when you're having a good time as the time he's, goes fast. He's Magneto now. <laughs> <laughs> you mean Eric. Eric Magneto. Eric Lenter. <laughs> Um, it's Going been, out. I kind of feel like, I kind of feel like doing the Mr. Rogers outro, but I really shouldn't. <laughs> um, another, another fun, fun, fantabulous, uh, Kodokai Robo Dojo, Four Horsemen build off. Uh, we made a dinosaur. Yeah, we it was did. amazing. And then, I, and now, and now I'm making a dino horse, I guess. Uh, uh, thank you all for tuning in. Um, you guys know me and then we're going to, we're going to go to everybody else, obviously, because I'm uh, not that important. But uh, who the hell is this guy? Oh, it's me. Holy shit. Uh, <laughs> mm, um, I, I, I'm making weapons and stuff. Um, hold on. Let me switch cameras real quick. Hold, so you can see my ugly ass face. We don't want to see your ass face. We uh, see hey, what's face. up, guys? Uh, 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 Starlack Pit over here uh, has... <laughs> <laughs> um uh thank you for joining us uh thank you for joining us uh tonight <clears throat> it was definitely a fun one um uh you guys can catch me chris underscore pabs on instagram um you can catch me on uh facebook chris pabs gunplaw works uh catch me on youtube at um uh youtube.com forward slash red sounds all 3d 5u and z um, you guys can catch like past episodes, of critical builds, my past streams, um, some videos that I did a little earlier, a couple years ago. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, thank you for having me. Um, we will be announcing the next episode of critical builds very, very soon. So uh, watch out for that. Um, and I will see you guys next time. Oh, no, I don't know my microphone. <laughs> next time. <laughs> Lady J. <laughs> um, okay. We're building angels. Yeah. And uh, you can find me Instagram, YouTube, Creeping Freeway for you. Uh, JP Lippert and more. Yeah, JP Lippert. Yeah, get your buttons. We got Ava buttons on there now. Ooh. Get your butt dudes. Butt dudes. <laughs> That's what the series should be called, butt dudes. <laughs> uh, that's me. I do I do streaming on YouTube every Sunday at uh ten thirty. Uh every Monday at ten thirty. That's me. There you go. And we got this guy over here. You guys know me. What the fuck <laughs> you talking about, Julio? Chuchiana Jones in the Temple of Nubs. <laughs> Big Chuchington. Big baby oh, Chooch. Yeah, uh clipping nubs on the internet. Tomorrow's Wet Palette Wednesday. If you guys want to come and hang out, paint some stuff. Um, yeah, and then Friday's Mechanism, finally. Holy oh. shit. It felt like forever. Uh, Thursday, Ryan stream. I'm going to be watching him, making fun of him. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
<laughs> Thanks for coming out. Yo, stop farting on the mic, Pab. What's wrong with you? <laughs> yeah, Ju- yeah, Julius, we're good. We're good. <laughs> uh, sorry, all distraction off at the very end of the show. Uh, yeah, so I'm Brian. Uh, Instagram, Bro Builder, you obviously know my YouTube channel. Um, thank you for stopping by and hanging out. It's always been a good time. It's always been a good time. What the fuck am I talking about? It's been a good time. It's <laughs> always a good time. It's been a good time. Oh, Kurt, my, my YouTube, Julio Ponte. Bye. Bye. Bye.